Before the video starts, I just wanted to say that only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed. So if you guys enjoy the videos, subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hi guys, today I decided I wanted to start a new better Minecraft playthrough. Except this time, it's the Forge version and I'm doing hardcore. I decided that I wanted to kill literally all the bosses I could get my hands on. And trust me, we nearly killed them all. This is a good one and it's pretty long. So make sure you grab some snacks and a drink and I hope you enjoy. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the video because I played 100 days in hardcore better Minecraft. And here's how it went. I wake up on day one on top of a tree. And if you look down on my hearts, you can see that weird line going to the center, indicating that we're in hardcore. What that means is, is that when we die, we die for good. So we have to make sure that we're extra careful to never take any deaths. I made my way down the tree, slowly but surely, and then I opened up my quest book. And I saw that in my quest book, there was a quest that gave me a couple more books. I also saw while I was in there that there was a quest to make a backpack. So we'll have to do that soon. I then after a while finally realized that I probably should get some wood on the go so I can get some tools. So I made my way to my first tree that I could see and I punched that tree down like it was no business. Got us some wood and decided to make myself a crafting table. Except that in this mod pack, you can't make crafting tables out of most wood types, oddly enough. I had to make myself a tinker's construct crafting table, which means I had to make myself a blank pattern and put it on top of a log to make it into a crafting station. So I did that, of course. That's fine. And I made ourselves a crafting station. We'll just do that. That works. <laughs> I then made myself a wooden pickaxe so I could collect some stone and make some upgraded tools. But I had to be careful because there was a bear watching us while we were crafting. Please don't. Thank you. That was a little frightening. I then threw away our wood pick. Bleh. Bye bye pick. And I got a big spook from the bear because I thought he was going to kill us. That scared the out of me. I thought he was beelining for us. That's not good. That was terrifying. Oh my god. I think we could take him. And yeah, you heard that right. If you can't tell, I don't play hardcore because I'm taking unnecessary risk immediately off the start. Like thinking I can kill this bear with just a stone sword. And I'll tell you, this was a really close call. I'm going to be really dumb and try to take on that bear. <laughs> and the bear wasn't having it. He really looked unimpressed. <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> He's like, you really want to try? Oh, you really want to try this? Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's fast. Oh, the bear took half of our health in one shot. And if that wasn't the worst thing, we ran out of hunger, so we couldn't even run away. I'm out of hunger. So I had to slowly walk over to my little tower and panically jump up to try to keep myself safe. And we barely made it. And he was not happy. But unluckily for him, too bad. Because now we have the high ground, Anakin. And we took him out, and he stood no chance. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't terrified anyways. <sighs> oh yeah, did I forget to mention that you can starve to death in hardcore? And somehow, I forgot about that fact, because I don't play hardcore. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna panic in about a couple of seconds, because I realized that we have no food, and we're gonna die soon. Dude, we're out of- oh, oh, we can starve to death? I forgot we can starve to death! Oh, oh, this is bad. This is actually really bad, then. Oh, flip, dude. <laughs> but luckily for me, not too far, I managed to find some cows, so I chopped them up, took their meat, and for some reason didn't immediately decide to cook it up and eat it. I also found some pigs and I made sure to kill them all, except I left the one that was a baby and I left their mother too, cause I needed to make sure that he could have some food to eat. Just cause I'm hungry doesn't mean I'm a monster, okay? <laughs> I keep you, you, your mother get to live so she can take care of you. I don't wanna starve the kid. He needs that good milk. He needs some milk. <laughs> what do we have over here? After a while, I found this really cool kind of like mushroom area with these little mushroom people. And I decided to attack one of them because I just really, you know, I wanted to see what they dropped. And uh, it was kind of a giant mistake. Oh, it, it's a babelette. Babelettes are a little different. When you cut them, they turn blue, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's not a lettuce at uh, Oh, so yeah, that, uh, that killed us. <laughs> and uh, this is the only time that we die. And we did restart a new playthrough, but I figured I would include this because I played on the same world with the same generation, like the same seed. And I and I knew like kind of the layout of things. So I figured I'd include my death on this world. What? <laughs> Bro. God dang it. All right. 
Oh yeah, because I reloaded the world. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Why don't we start with leather boots? I didn't even realize we did. So the beginning was about the same as the last beginning. So I'm just going to skip past it, really. We got some wood. We made a wood pickaxe, blah, blah, blah. But before we were about to make our wood pickaxe, I noticed that there was this weird blue kind of boss name. So I decided, why not screw around and try to take it out? Okay, cool. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna die if I go in here, I can guarantee it. Dude, is that like a boss? Only one way to find out, and that's to probably die. I made myself a wooden axe and a wooden pickaxe, and then I went down there with the wooden axe to try to start chipping away at this little mini boss thing, and uh, it didn't really go great. He has 82 health! Cause the axe does very little damage. So I decided to just make a stone one and come back down and try to chip him away. For some reason, he wouldn't attack us, so it was just free. I figured why not killing him? Okay, it's... Oh, it's pretty low. I think we might... Okay, one more shot. And what was our reward for all our efforts, you may ask? Well, we got a 12.5 armor chest plate, which is literally better than a diamond chest plate. Whoa, that's pretty good. Whoa, 12 armor. That's really good. And in the chest was an iron axe, but it wasn't just a normal iron axe. It was a legendary iron axe. And I didn't realize it yet, but this axe is a godsend. And I also managed to get this weird dormant eye charm and I decided to awaken the eye. It is connected to location beyond your space and time you can awaken the eye if you wish to risk drawing attention of something, someone or something. And if you thought that this dungeon was done with me, yeah, it wasn't. Because it gave me legendary chainmail boots that are even better than our chest plate. Dwarven chainmail boots. Fire damage is taken by 40%. Whoa, whoa, that also gives 12. That's better than our chest plate. What? Dude, we're actually stacked out already. What the heck? <laughs> this is the, what? And then we have a murderous axe of penetration also. I forgot to check this. Attacks have a 75% chance to also hit up to eight nearby enemies. And it does 22 attack damage. And it give it has, it heals me for 29% of base current HP damage. What? Are we like actually like fat? Like are we are we like really like obese right now? <laughs> Bro. And it gives me speed too. What gives me speed too? I I don't know, but I'm fast. Whenever I attack, what? What is this? Dude. Oh, it killed the thing over here because the eight nearby enemies thing. Oh, that's so cool, dude. <laughs> what? A 75% chance of doing that? Oh man, that's actually stupidly strong. Wow. I noticed a big mushroom house in the corner of my eye, and I decided that I wanted revenge. Revenge. The mushroom man. And now I'm gonna go take out that babelette. Get revenge from last time. I, I, I'm still gonna be careful though. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> that dude messed us up before. So, not taking the risk, dude. Wind split, turtle shell stubbornness. Like, this seed's insane. I threw it away on the last. Like, oh my god, this is amazing. I guess this is just what the mod pack's like, maybe? Whatever it is, I'm getting really good RNG. And I have extra hearts. <laughs> oh my god, this is nuts. Shortly after that, I found a gatekeeper who can make it so we can go to a completely different dimension. Two, actually. And we'll be coming back to him relatively soon. So make sure you stay tuned in. Dude, we're actually zoomy. Oh, this is the village? Ooh! Oh, gatekeeper. Okay. I actually completely forgot that I was going over here. Because <laughs> there's a village. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Lost for words. It sounds like there's some unfriendly things inside. I made my way inside of the tower, and there was a bunch of armored skeletons. So I killed them all, and I grabbed some loot from there. There wasn't really anything too great, though. And then I made my way to the village. Alright. Oh, there they are. Oh, this village looks so cool. Oh my god, I love it. It looks so cool. I then went to sleep inside one of the beds in the village, including day three. On day four, I decided to finally awaken the eye. Also, I don't know why I haven't used this yet. Another demigod wanders this forsaken land. Let me accompany you in your journey. Perhaps you will manage that which others could not. Attend. And uh, I don't really know what this thing does. <laughs> I don't think I want to find out. He's a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. 
After that, I found this weird buffalo type thing, and he looks so cute. It looks like he had a little thing sticking out of his tongue, but no, it, it, it was just a berry or something, but it looked like he had his little tongue out. It was really cute. He looks so stupid cute. Look, he's in a little... Is that his tongue? But that didn't stop me from being a heartless piece of shh turd because <laughs> I killed them. I'm sorry, Bogard. I'm sorry, Mr. Bogard. Not long after that, I noticed some moo blooms on the map. So I wanted to go check them out. Is that what I think it is? Are those moo blooms? I need to go see. I need to kill spiders anyways. So this is probably a win-win situation, but I need to go see the moo blooms. They are moo blooms. I love that. That's so cool. I noticed on the map that there was a bunch of villagers and pillagers in one place, so I thought that maybe there was a raid going on or something. So I made my way there as fast as I could. There's a bunch of villagers and pillagers all, like, together. I'm really curious what this is. And it turned out to be this gigantic, like, pillager-villager mix village, where they had villagers as prisoners and just pillagers everywhere. So I went through and I killed a bunch of them, and I tried freeing all the villagers. And in the process, I managed to get attacked by some evokers, so I killed two of them in one shot, and yeah, that's right. We got two Tomes of Undying by day four. Oh my god, I have a Totem of Undying. After killing all the pillagers and freeing the villagers, I explored around the village and I found a ton of pumpkin pies, which was going to be our food source for a little while. I, yeah, 45 pumpkin pies is a big plus for me. Yes, please. I freed the last remaining few of the villagers, and for some reason they just didn't want to leave, even though they were probably being just brutalized by the pillagers. I, I think you guys are fine to be freed. <laughs> They're just not, they just don't care. They're like, why'd you free us? I was vibing, bro. Had two meals a day, safe pace to sleep. Yeah, they beat us and hit us with a whip and made us do chores, but like, at least we, at least we got fed and stuff. Now I gotta go back to my, my dumb job and tend the fields and go feed my kid and stuff like oh man why 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 do you have to why do you have to do that a little bit after that i had my first experience with a mini boss spawning or something along those lines what what something has awoken nearby what can i just say that i hate powdered snow i know i could have just kept my leather boots and walked on it but i don't know man i'm stupid but whatever it is look at this crazy far jump i made in order to avoid the snow <laughs> Let's go. What a jump, dude. That was pretty good. I mean, I mean, I think that's with a little like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I killed a bunch of buffaloes to make sure I had plenty of meat just to keep us held over for a good while. I have 64 raw beef. There's a lot of raw beef. Man, those things drop a lot of meat. I didn't even realize. That makes sense though. They're like gigantic um, bovines. Aren't buffaloes bovine? I didn't think buffaloes were actually bovine. I thought they. I thought they were. Maybe they are. I thought they were slightly different. I thought like the bovines were like domesticated um, <laughs> cattle, but bisons. Well, now I, I, I guess the most recent bisons are probably bovine because where they're like I don't know they're like mixed in with populace of whatever domesticated ancestor we had to try to get their population back up. So, I don't know. A little bit after that, I found some baby foxes, and I noticed that one of them attacked this giant rabbit, and that's when something really unfortunate happened. Of the foxes. Jumbo rabbit. Oh, dude, there's a baby fox killing a jump. That's... You thought... Wait, did he... Did I just... Wait. Did I just... Did I just watch the fox die? Did I just watch the baby fox die? Are you serious? I just got the hide from it. In the arms of... <laughs> oh god. A little bit after that, I decided I wanted to go underground because I needed some string to make a backpack. And I literally have been struggling so much to find some. Because for some reason, you can't turn wool into string. So my only thing that I could think about doing was to just go underground, kill these spiders, and then I could finally make a backpack. Underground, I think they are, but... Yeah, they are. They're like at this level. I was looking at the map. You know what's crazy also? These are the first totems I've ever had. <laughs> and I got them in the first like five seconds of the game uh, of, 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 uh, of the world. Today, Junior? That's, it's kind of nuts. Oh, I actually managed to make my way into the geode. Spiders. Oh, spiders. 
Spiders. Watch out, yes. What? And I got into a bit of a bow fight with a skeleton where I ended up having a bit of a Robin Hood moment where both of our arrows hit each other. She just shot her arrow back. I, just, I, I, I blocked his arrow with my arrow. That was pretty cool. All right, what is this? Oh, it shoots three. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, the string. Where'd the string go? I'm gonna make that backpack now. Woo! Is this right? No. I never know. Oh, it's, uh, I see. All right, that's fine. And then you, s how do you upgrade it? Just surround it in iron, okay. Sweet. <sighs> Finally, we have a backpack. Oh my God, I have been waiting for this forever. Content with our backpack, I decided that it was probably time for me to leave the cave. And by the way, I'm really sorry for the first little bit of this video where the game audio and my voice audio were on the same track. I realized it at day five and it's fixed from now on out. Cool. At least I realize it now. It is what, only day five? It's day six, not day five. The way Minecraft works is the first day they say is day zero and then so on. So it's day six. Yeah. So it's day five. And I and I just realized that my audio was kind of corrupted. That's fine. That's okay. Because it was only the first five days. And I should really learn to check it before I record. What do we have over here? Oh, yeah, it's us in another village, it looks like, Jimbo. Well, let's go. Why not? The fact that I haven't made a shield yet, I also, like... What am I thinking? Up to this point, I had thought that I lost the other totem because I didn't know where it was. Turns out that I accidentally equipped it into my charm slot, and I'll find that out now in a couple seconds when I go to see if I can do it. Now, I, I would like to see. Am I able to... That's where my totem went! Oh, it didn't get used. It just went into it went into my charm slot. I'm an idiot. That makes so much more sense. Oh, I love that. Well, that's amazing. That means I can still use a shield. Oh, I love that. I was so upset about that. I'm really happy. It's not annoying. Chop. <laughs> I love doing that. Chop. <laughs> I then crafted myself a sleeping bag, and there's just something a little bit annoying about how it has to be precisely in the center in order to make a sleeping bag. Oh, whoa, there's no sleeping bags in this. Really? Wait, there is. Oh, it has to be crafted in the center. That makes total sense. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah, there's a village here. Wait, what? First village? I've been in a village, like, several times. And this isn't even a village. This is just one house. Oh, it is a village. Where are the villagers, though? Are they underground? <laughs> oh, no. They're here. They are here. What's up, fellas? This is a proper village, I guess, because they have defenders. Oh, and a waystone. Ah, I see. I don't think the other village had a waystone. Oh, there's a bear. That's what that was. I was wondering what that was on the map. Oh, it's got cobs. I can't. I can't. I really want to, but I can't. They did not just kill that fox. Foxes are one of my absolute favorite animals. So seeing the bear kill it, it really angered me. I don't stand for fox killers. Bruh, they really did that, huh? We didn't start the fire. Was always winning since the world's been turning. Man, we're so zoomy when we kill things. Like, I want to kill a duck here just to pick the speed back up. Ah, but that's where I don't want to. Same with gold. That's so cool. I actually really love that. That is actually so cool. You, the ducks get to live. <laughs> because of that, they get to live. I then decided to head into this strange building, and um, I don't know, it didn't really sit right with me. Yo, I don't know about that, Chief. And man, there were some weird creatures in here. What is that? What the f is that? Dude, what is that? Dude, where are these things? Hi, how are you? <clears throat> What? Really quickly, let me just get a gaffle. Take those two. Please. They're not weak either. Holy heck. Dude, that's... That's... That's messed up. Oh, those things are tanky. 
Those are literally just wither skeletons with heads of bone. Bone heads. Uh, <laughs> a diamond sword that's about to break. So useful. Very nice. Pretty useless things here. Jeez, dude. Is that a baby spider? <laughs> I love that. Agile bow of the predator. That's a good bow, Bruh. as far as I could tell. A little bit after that, I tried to bum rush some spawners and completely forgot that I was in hardcore. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm in hardcore. I shouldn't be doing so risky. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm, I'm actually dead. Oh, oh, I forgot I had a totem. Thank God. And thank God we got that totem early on because it really saved our skin this time. I equipped our last totem into our charm slot and then I decided to head back in pretty stupidly. <laughs> and I ended up finding a really good stone axe, which did even more damage than our already super OP iron axe. Whoa, that axe does more than our axe. Whoa, but that axe is like definitely better than our axe. Wow. The only difference is, is we gained speed too with the other one, but this gives weakness too, right? Oh, come on, dude. It does more damage too, which is always nice. Um, can we just wall you off? Yeah, let's just do that. I then made a stupid mistake and tried to break a part of the wall so I could break the spawner. And I forgot that cave spiders could go through one block gaps and I ended up wasting an entire another totem. Oh, wow. Okay. I made a mistake. Clearly. Meaning that we no longer have any totems. <laughs> so we got two totems before day four and we lost them before day 10. Yep. I'm probably dead. Like, we're stupid as heck. Yep. But the totem managed to save us and I somehow got out just barely holding on to the skin between my legs. Okay, there goes another totem. That's all of our totems. Okay, alrighty then. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I, I just lost both my totems. All right, I'm leaving. I know my place. And out I go. Goodbye. Good riddance. See you later. Wouldn't want to be you. I'm leaving this place and I'm never coming back. Uh, get me out of this mess. Where's the exit? I don't want to be here any longer. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. Can't believe I just lost all of our totems. Oh, that was, that was stupid of me. Those could have been incredibly useful in the long term. But instead, I just burned some. That's a f***ing <laughs> Oh, Oh, woof. <sighs> I ended up walking into these poisonous mushrooms, and it gave me the poison effect. And I went on a little bit of a rant about how there aren't really any mushroom species that can kind of hurt you by touching. There's no, there's literally only one mushroom species on this whole planet that will like hurt you by touching it. And it's this fire coral mushroom. There's no poisonous mushroom that you can touch and get poisoned. It's not how they work. You have to swallow them. That is annoying. I'm actually a shaw nerd. <laughs> and then the other one's some other thing. Oh, oh we can actually do that in this mod pack. Well, would you look at it? Do I want extra hearts? I don't have a stamina, do I? Do I have a stamina bar that I just haven't been aware of? I didn't think we had a stamina bar. I gave the statue all the spirit orbs we got from a bunch of the spawners inside of that weird spider building, and it got our hearts up so high. I'm just gonna give it all my hearts. Look how many hearts we have. <laughs> we, have we have like two and a half rows of hearts. Our hearts are yellow. After that, I found a giant group of villagers trapped in some trap doors. <laughs> this always makes me laugh. They, they all, oh, even the cat's stuck. It always makes me chuckle. <laughs> I don't, I, whenever they, <laughs> like. <laughs> all right, well, I am going to place then a couple of crafting benches. Or not crafting benches, what am I saying? Oh, I'm going to put then a couple of um cheese, I think. That's what we go with. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just plop them down, like. I have a uh, the portal thing here. The Weistein. Is this uh, one of those cool mod packs where you can make chests? Oh, I love these mod packs. Oh, they know what people want. Wow. Oh, I love when you can do that. It's like actually my favorite flipping feature. Like when you can just make chests out of logs. It is It is. It's absolutely one of my favorite flipping features. I then spent some time organizing all the chests I had. There we go. An organized chest system. I finally did it, all right? I spent a little bit of time early on to just semi-organize things so it's not such a state later on. 
Alright. It's fine. I then set up some cookinators so that way I didn't have to sit in front of furnace and stuff all the time waiting for things to cook. And I'm gonna do this early on so I don't have to worry about it later. Boom. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually really love that. That's so cool. I should now be able beef in you and pork in that in you. Hey, <laughs> yes. Oh, look at it go already. What a system. What a system already. I am going to make another one too because I really love them. One, two. Oh my God. That is so flipping cool. Oh, I love it. It's actually like actually my favorite thing. Now, if I was really smart, I would actually make one more. I'm going to make one more to make charcoal. So I have fuel constantly. Sorry, sir. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that at all. I then did my best Paul Bunyan impression and cleared out an entire forest so I could get a bunch of wood into our little charcoal maker. Clearing out the forest. No one tell Mr. Beast. We shall flatten the forest together and you shall watch me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there goes our axe. All right, time to go home with a lot more wood to throw into our furnace. This is going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty even. That should be giving us pretty much infinite fuel. I then got attacked by a revenant, and I don't know, maybe I'm a bit of a nerd, but I thought you couldn't kill revenants. I thought they were like these immortal revenge creatures that only just fueled their livelihood by seeking revenge. <laughs> you just couldn't kill them because they would come back every time. Oh, come on, buddy. I thought, how did I kill a revenant? They can't be killed. Why are the revenants attacking you guys? Oh, okay. why would it kill p villagers? Boys, what is happening here? What? What? Oh, this is from killing the villager by accident. <laughs> Can someone tell me why it says the axe will attack eight other close by enemies, but for some reason kills the villagers? Come on, dude. Why does it hit them? I'm ashamed. I don't want any other things. Oh, man. I really messed up there. Oh, All right, let's see how much fuel we've made. This is the exciting part. Y'all ready for this? Boom 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 Oh my god, stupid. I think we go mining. I kinda wanna start a mine shaft. That's what I'm gonna do. And get some lava and all that, because I kinda wanna go to the end. Uh also, I'm gonna make a pair of diamond pants into this little hill here. Pretty cool, I think. Uh I'm gonna do three high so I don't bang my head. I have a feeling this world's gonna last a while. I kinda wanna be able to get stairs in here. Yeah, I like that. Let me, of course, also make some stairs really quickly. Uh, I threw some cobble into the auto smelter, so that way I could turn it into smooth stone, because I wanted to make smooth stone stairs. Let that smelt away. All right, I'm going to start mining away more while I let that cook away. Oh, I wanted to do... No, actually, I like that. I didn't even know that was a thing. I love that. Oh, yeah. Dude, I have to dig it one more. Oh, that's actually so bad. This is going to take like significantly longer, yes, but it will save a lot of head banging in the future. So probably is worth it, especially because it's so early on, we're doing so well. It's it's fine to waste away a little tiny bit of time digging out a proper mine shaft. I came up to get some more stone stairs and ended up finding one of literally the last living villagers in our city named Dimple. He'll be important later on. So I decided to help him out of his little trap he was stuck in. Okay, Dimple, you're clearing a bit of a predicament here, bud. Let me help you out. And try to keep him safe. There you go, bud. And then I tried to cycle some librarian villagers to try to get some mending. Because I was waiting for the stone anyways. I didn't think it was a huge deal. I'm waiting for the stone to turn into cooked stone anyways. So, like, I got time to waste. Might as well try to get, like, mending or something. Boon of the earth. Ores may be found when mining stone. That's that's actually really, really good. You can keep that one. Alrighty. How's our little cobble cooking going? Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right, so back to the mines. Oh yeah, see like that will save a lot of time coming up and down from mining trips. Like the fact that I can just go and like, come on, dude, look at this. Like I just zoomed up here at like Mach 10. Also kind of love calcite for building. So I think I'm gonna grab the calcite. Uh, yeah. 
I'm gonna grab some more calcite. I'm just gonna burn a diamond pick honestly on calcite because I I actually really enjoy it as a block to build with. Like un unironically, it's it's a nice it's a nice block. I I, I enjoy it. We're at deep slate finally, so now it's gonna get really annoying to mine. Yeah, so we're finally at the point now where it's going to get extremely annoying to start mining because deep slate is awful to mine, especially with that efficiency. So, <laughs> yay, woohoo, yay us. I'm just really trying to get down and get some enchantment books, to be honest, or um, some uh, obsidian so I can make enchantment books. I ended up finding a cave opening pretty deep down and I decided to just go inside instead of digging farther. I'm gonna head in here for a sec, cause um, maybe I can find, okay, well, there it is. I was gonna say, maybe I can find some lava and not have to worry about the whole dealing with the mine shaft for a little longer. Seems like there's plenty of light down here, so. Ooh, diamonds. Sure thing, won't see me saying no to a diamond there. I'm mainly here for the obsidian though. Oh, whoa. Oh, sick. Dude, there's a mob spawner. Oh, I'm about to make a mob farm out of that. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Actually, let me torch it up. Sweet. I'm actually so excited to have that now. Oh, God. All right, let's go get some obsidian. <laughs> Might as well mine enough for to make another portal too while I'm at it, right? Just gonna grab an extra five to make an enchanting table. So I need 19 and then I'm vibing. Now I'm gonna hold on to the 14 obsidian for the portal because I don't want to place the portal down quite yet. I'd like to place it down when I have a nice house. I'll probably just build a temp one down here using like lava bucket water method, like the little speed running method or whatever it's called to go to the uh, the nether real quick. I started building our portal before I found a silver fish spawner. Oh, <gasps> oh sh that's not good. Which had spawn eggs in it for some reason, but I didn't really pay much attention to it and I went and finished building our portal. There you go, portal's made. Let's make a flint and steel and let's head to the nether. Why not? Let's go check it out a little bit. Oh, we're getting, this armor is getting really low actually, so we probably shouldn't, but ah, you know what actually? Oh geez, here's the problem though. Look how much armor we'll lose. So we have that, we have literally two bars of armor nearly. But if I take this off, this drops down to, well, that's still actually really good. I'll keep the turtle humming on for now. There you go. This actually might be a block too, too tall. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess. So far in the air, sense of her and what? Why am I? Is how what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? This is not the nether. I feel like I've made a mistake. Where, what am I, where am I? I'll get a lot of spirit orbs at least, so that's nice. Get our health maxed out. What in the world? Okay, we are in the nether. We just ended up in a nether dungeon somehow. Are you serious? We loaded into a dungeon? What are the chances of that? I don't mind the pumpkin pies. Ooh, Ooh. that's like the legendary shield. Dang, love to see that. I just came here to check out the nether and I immediately ended up in a flippin' dungeon with all kinds of like loud and aggressive sounds. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Also don't know what an Azure bottle does. I'm gonna use one. I've been getting tons of them around anyways. It, it didn't do anything. You, to apply color formatting to any following text. Oh, and our exits are right here. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. All right, well, sick. I'm going to really quickly head in <laughs> and go home. We have a, like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that needs depowing. I'm feeling pretty good about this world now. I'm not going to lie. It's room really well. Look how fast we go up these stairs. I love it. We're about to get like four bars of hearts too. Like, this is stupid. Do our hearts turn green if we get another bar, I wonder? Because they went from red to orange to yellow. So green would be the, the next progressional step, in my mind at least. That would be the next like appropriate uh, step. But yeah, everything's organized. And I will plop down an anvil. And I will take this off so I don't lose it because it is very nice. I also want to take this off so I don't lose it because it is also very nice. I swapped our nearly broken armor for some diamond armor. Cool. Also, is that a flipping goat I see on the minimap? Oh, it is a goat. Whoa. Oh, it's an awakened goat. Whoa. Whoa. It's got 265 health. Whoa. It just ate a shot from our thing here. I gotta kill it though. I really do. I have to see what this thing drops. Cause it can drop some pretty decent stuff, I assume. Yeah. What the heck? Fall damage reduced by 99%. Fire damage reduced by 46. Explosion damage reduced by whatever. Speed four, protection five. Armor plus one, plus five luck, plus nine max health. It does lower our armor significantly, but like this is a good, one for traveling around. Jeez, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, this is the thing I was looking for. Can I break you? 
Oh, I can. I'm going to move you over to where our base is. End of brand. Something is woken. So I'm, I'm wondering now if it's literally just, you can just walk around and find. Yep. It is straight up what it is. I see. Okay. And that we can actually use to probably repair our boots here if I wanted. Um, okay. That makes total sense. When things awaken, it's just normal critters around and you can, oh, see like, yeah, like, look. Dude, it ate, it's going to eat three shots. And it gave me a helmet for, oh my God, it gave me a helmet without even having to kill it. What? Oh, it preemptively dropped it. Alrighty then. Uh, wow. This is better than our helmet right now. Um, a lot better actually. Like way, 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 way better. It's got three empty sockets too. Wow. Wow. Okay then. Alrighty. <laughs> Well then, I know what I'm going to be doing from now on. Anytime I see an awakened thing that's yellow, I'm going to run around looking for it. <laughs> like, wow, this is actually so cool. Let's place this thing down right here. And oh, wow. Oh, I, I don't have spirit orbs. I put them away. Forgot about that. Here we go. 40 spirit orbs. I would like to see really quickly what the stamina thing does. I shall grant you the power you seek. But what does it do? Because there isn't stamina in this, I don't think. I'm just going to use health. I then. got us nearly another 10 hearts. Getting our hearts all the way up to blue. Wow, it went green, then blue. Dudes, our health is... It, dudes, this is stupid. Dude, what the heck? This is actually so cool. I'm actually, I'm, I'm super hyped about this. You got this guy, right? No one told me Dimple was a trained assassin. Bro goes hard. Yo, they actually use their shields. Yo, Dimples go, Dimple go hard. Okay, Dimple. Okay. I see you. I see you, Dimple. Dimple fracks for sure. <laughs> I then made a smithing table and I socketed some gems onto our gear. Sweet. And let me socket some things on here. I will put the best one I have on first in case I can only put one of each type. No, I can. I can put both. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. And then I decided to start working on an enchanting table. So we need to work on an enchantment table right now. Yeah. Which means that I'm going to need sugarcane. Hey, sugarcane. Nice. I think maybe I should just collect it all this way rather than... I don't know that. Whoa. Ooh, that might have some good stuff in it. Now, I remember in the other better Minecraft world, people were telling me that this is apparently like drops really good stuff. You can get some pretty cool stuff here, apparently. So why not go through it real quick? All right, I will put on our Dwarven boots, though, because I think these don't give me like any armor. Oh, whoa. Yeah, look, now we have yellow bars of armor. Oh, that's sick. You love to see that. All right, sweet. <laughs> bad timing, dude. <laughs> Just bad timing. Like literally the worst possible timing you could give me. I love white strawberries in real life, by the way. They are like one of my favorite foods. I like them better than I like unripe fruit, by the way. It's, it's just this weird thing. I don't like ripe fruit. They're mushy. They're gross. Unripe fruit with that slight sour grossness or slight sourness. Mm. Love it. Love it. I love it. I find ripe fruit where that mush it's where it's mushy. It just it like the, I don't know, man. It makes me want to puke. The, like I hate it so much. I'm hoping for that like cool. Um, Oh yeah, well, th there's some stuff here already. I, I trust there'll be some cool stuff here. I think I trust you guys. Uh, ooh, plus eight max health is nice, actually. Oh, whoa. Part of the golem. Uh, I'll read that in a sec. What we got elsewise. Those are actually nice. I combine them with something that could be decent. Ooh, whoa. Steel touched legend of the forge god. Combine those two together. Oh man, that'll be really, really good. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be really nice, actually. Cool. Is that everything? Guess that's everything. One little one right here. I'm gonna upgrade our backpack. I just remembered I could do that. And now I really, and I mean really, hope this doesn't take everything out of it. Nope. Thank God. Cool. Well then, that's a lot more inventory space. I like that. Yep, I do like that a lot. Yeah, that's actually really, really nice. I then got really lucky and I found a crow. So I threw him some of my steak and it was so cute watching him eat it. Which reminds me, if you guys like seeing me feed some crows, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Cause I'll be sure to be doing it a lot more if you liked it. Oh, crow, crow. Do you like steak? You do like steak. <laughs> Dude, these are my favorite things ever. I love crows so much. 
in real life dude when i was in university literally like my favorite thing whenever i would get lunch is i would get salad with extra croutons and i would throw my croutons out to the freaking crows that and the uh some of the chicken i would get i'd get extra chicken and extra um extra croutons and i would throw them out to the to the crows and uh they got like familiar with me and would come really like come out and fly around me whenever i would come um leave the cafeteria area and go outside the crows would start coming near me oh i love them they're such smart animals they're like absolutely one of my favorite animals for sure they're so cool i love them i used to think they were so dumb and and it was just like a, a, a like a like i thought i used to think of them like seagulls where i was like it's just scavenger it's just like a dumb bird I learned very quickly that they are extraordinarily intelligent animals. Like, I absolutely love them. They're so smart. They're so cool. They're just, oh, I love it. Like, I can go on and on about stories about crows, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I, I I remember seeing the other day there was one that, um, this one crow, he kept carrying things out into the road, and then a car would run over it, and he'd run back out, grab it, and go back to, um, to where he was to eat it. And it's just, oh my god, I found it so, so just interesting. And that concludes Weird Facts with Shrew. <laughs> also, this is a Fletcher. This is a proper village. I will steal all their bookshelves, make them illiterate. Where's the bones at? I'm going to tame a dog while I'm at this. Dog, dog, dog. I tamed us a dog? Yes, we got dog. Oh, more dogs. And then I made sure to tame several more. Some dogs. Oh, there we go. Look at all these bookshelves. I kept stealing books from all the villagers. Hmm, love that. Oh, an electron. Oh, another lecture. Heck yeah. And made sure to rang the bell because it is my favorite thing to do. I love the bell. I'm taking the bell with me. I think it's all the bookshelves this place has for us, I believe. You son of a biscuit muncher. And I ended up finding a epic trident in one of the barrels here. I almost was... What? <laughs> Whoa. That one almost died. Whoops. I didn't mean to make you guys make kids. Oh, man. Okay, well, that's... N oh, God dang it. That's not... That wasn't not my plan. No, I have children I have to take care of now. That's not... <laughs> I, I have I have I have gotten too many dogs. This was a mistake. Oh shy. Sit. Sit. Sit and 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 and, and. oh ah Jeez, I'm sorry, buddy. All right, you need to stay here, fellas. You don't get yourself killed. And then another legendary spawn named Karen, and she'll be important later on. Kraken the Misunderstood. That's a legendary, too. I need to find these guys. Could drop some really good things. This is what's so annoying about it, is they're just impossible to find. Oh, oh, wait. The goat. The goat. There, there he is. I'm sorry, friend. Wow. He's, he's going to take, like, three shots, four shots, five shots? I don't know. Four. That's with a crit, too. Insane. Five. Six. Seven. Bro, this thing's actually a beast. Eight. Flipping nine, bro? What? Nine. And it's not even dead yet? It dropped the things, though. So here's my question. It dropped It dropped its thing, which was this. I don't want to kill it, because now I'm wondering if I feed it and beat it up again while I get more. <laughs> As cruel as that sounds, uh, I'm gonna go and get some some wheat. I know there was hay blocks around. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I maybe I bring it home with us. <laughs> maybe I would bring it home with us. Honestly, oh, careful there! Let's not go there. Is there a lead around? Where? Oh, there's another one down here too. I'm sorry, goat. If I feed you, you don't drop it, do you? Like I have to kill you? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just going to hit him. Wait, he did drop something when I fed him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You don't have to kill them. Uh-oh. Uh I feel so bit nice. Can I breathe you two? If I breed you two, will what I think happen happen? Will it create another legendary? Because if that's the case, uh-oh. I will have a problem. Nah, it just looks like a baby goat. It's cute, though. Um, I mean, let's go get our dogs and bring them home. Screw it. Screw it. All right, come on, fellas. And we are going to be starting our long journey of walking these fellas all the way home. Oh, that's actually perfect timing. Where's the goats gone? Goat one, goat two is over here. Sneak. He's, getting, he's eluding me. He's so, he, he, where is he? He is eluding me. Nope, that's Karen the Misunderstood. We have, we have perfect Karen and this other stupid thing. There's home. Let's go home. All right, let me make a fence. When we were home, 
I ended up making a little area and put the goats inside of it. Except that when I released them from their leads, I came to learn that they could jump out. Literally just without any issues. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll have to build it a little taller. What? Oh, okay then. That's good to know. Leads will have to be stayed on you. Good, good to know. Good to know. They can jump high. Okay. But even with the leads, they still manage to escape. And those things are going to be annoying. I can already tell. So clearly I need to make these fences taller. What? What are you... How high can they jump? What? Dude, they can jump high as heck. I'm gonna have to make like a cage. Come around here, my friends. I need to get you inside. In here, please. Come inside. Thank you. Enjoy your life in there. Oh, well, we got goats now. <laughs> I love the bell. And now I have a fortune. That's fortune two. Cool. That's a good pick, especially for what I'm about to do with it. He's like, what are you doing, buddy? Why are you building all this outside of my house? I'm like, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll all be gone in a minute. Oof. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I then spent some more time socketing some gems, and I got our health bar up to four bars of health. Like, it's crazy. Do I still have health I can heal? I do. Oh, God. Wait, are we going to go into the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have purple hearts. Dude, dude, how... <laughs> How high does this go? How many hearts do we have? Sir. Okay, so we have, we have, okay. So we have three purple hearts. That's terrifying. All right, let's go to the, uh, another. Hello, puppers. Say you later, puppers. Oh. I tried running out of the roof of the dungeon in the nether, and I found myself face to face with a bunch of lava. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I messed up. Okay. So clearly, I actually don't think I can get out of here. I think I might be under lava. Nope, we're good. Glowstone? Probably cluster eight. What is this? Is this like a glowstone geode? That's so cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Did we just find a fortress like right next to our portal? I was pretty sure I was hearing a bunch of blazes, so I was convinced that we ended up right under a nether fortress. Oh my god, we did. But turned out just to be a little a little little monster spawner. Oh no no no, not a fortress. Never mind. I spent some time farming up a bunch of blaze rods because I was planning on going to the end soon and I needed to get some blaze powder to make ender eyes. Hell and the marbles have waken up. Who the heck? I know it didn't spawn a goat in here. That would be stupid as all heck. I have no clue. Whatever it is, I'm gonna farm up a couple blaze rods and then get out of here, go look around. There are some angry pigs outside also. Seven blaze rods, probably good for now. Oh, there we are. <laughs> We're in gold. Oh, I see a name. Ah, whoa. Not very nice is right. Sir, you are strong. What did you give me? Shield the Jester. I think mine's better, isn't it? Yeah, way, 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 way better. It's a Cobalt. Haha, <laughs> Cobalt. That's awesome, dude. I love, I love Cobalt. Mots that have Cobalt in it. It's like one of my favorite things. Yeah. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. So that's where the next one is. Yep, it's a Blaze. Whoa, it's a tank. Wait, is it out healing me? It is, yeah. No, it just needs to do an absurd amount of damage and to, in order to hurt him. Let's finish him off. Finally. What did he drop me? Oh, I needed a new chest plate. What do we got? Fire protection five, prop four. Ooh, when attacked, gain instant health two. That's why he was healing, dude. That's why he was healing. Dude, he had, oh, that's so good. That's actually really, really, really good. Anytime we get hit, we gain health too. Bro, that's insane. Kill the children. They must always die. <laughs> Something down there and over here. Don't put them both out. Oh, it's a dungeon, I think. Oh. I ran around opening the doors until something weird happened. Hello, mother <laughs> But because we have so many hearts and such strong armor, we were perfectly fine. Like, these guys can't do nothing to us. I'm fine. That it? That all you had, bro? Okay. All right. So I've already gone through here then. That's the whole dungeon. Okay. Ah! Ow. Now, what's going on with this Blackstone Pyramid here? Something feels weird about this. There was something indeed weird about it because it was a trap chest with TNT under it. Is that TNT? It is. <laughs> I knew there was something sus going on there. Trap chest. Oh my. Ooh. Oh yes. 
Oh, you love... Wait, that's Rose Quartz. Oh, I'll have to get that in a second. Oh, wow. He's he's actually tanky as heck. Okay, well, we got to use this axe. Oh, even our axe isn't... You actual tool. I mean, this works for me. If you're trapped, I'm happy. Sorry, Velma. Time to die. I chopped Velma with her axe, and I got her helmet in return. What? All right, we got it. Uh, Velma's revitalizing golden salad of four leaf clover. Gives resistance to instant health too. Explosive damage taken by less profit five. Is that better than our helmet now? I think it might be. Uh, yeah, I think so. Dang. All right, that's sick. All right, let's see this. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, pink slime. I'm taking that. Rose gel. Oh, wow. This is. There's a lot of stuff over here. Where is the thing I was looking for? A drop bear? Oh, there he is. While looking for a mini boss, I found myself in a bastion. Mother Jim the Unholy. That's so stupid. Wait, is that a pig man? Oh, no, it's um, it's a piglin, right? No, it's a zombie pig man. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. I should have done that. What did it even give me? Depth Strider 2. Gain resistance when attacked. Also, why are there so many pig There's pig ones down here. Oh, it's because there's a flipping thing down here? Ow. There's a Bastion down here? Nope, there's a Bastion here. Well, we have a good way to get pearls. Once we find the gold in here. Give me the gold. Wally the Special. I don't want to actually go take that out. Oh, did he drop diamond pants? He did. Wally windswept diamond quasis. 26 total speed, 8 max health, 6 armor, 5 armor toughness. I mean, we get like a little tiny bit more armor toughness uh, and more total speed, less max health though. That's the thing. A lot of the pants are going to break soon. Our new don't. pants made us zoomy. Oh man, we are flipping so fast right now. Why are we so fast? Oh yeah, because the pants. <laughs> Every time one of those weird mini bosses spawn, it plays this really loud sound. and it was really starting to get to me. I love, I love, and I mean I love, the really cool rare spawns. I do, I really do. Do I love hearing it every five seconds? No, no, I really don't. I actually hate it. I hate it with a passion. It is, it is actually so annoying. All right, sweet. Let's get us some gold. All that work for a little tiny bit of gold, oh my. Also, that is so cool looking. I saw a drop bear, so I took some shots at it. <laughs> and to my surprise, they actually drop on you. Hi, how are you? Oh, wow. They actually drop on you? That's so cool. I, I mean, it's in their name. You would expect them to do it, but still, it's really cool anyways. I actually love that. That like, adds so much more like scariness to the nether. I'm a big fan of that. And even their dead bodies drop on you. I love how they damage you when they their corpse falls on you. Like, I actually really love that. It's, it, like, people may not like it, but I think it's a really cool feature. Because, I mean, to be fair, if a bear fell on you, like, a bear's corpse just landed on you from a height like that, you would take damage. Like, you know what I mean? If any corpse fell on you from that length, you would, you, it would hurt. Pretty flipping bad, too. <laughs> Like out of this, this just random child's just living his life, hanging out, and he sees this like three meter tall behemoth of a man just sprinting at him at Mach 10 and stabbing him, immediately killing him, like <laughs> with no regard. I caught a case of the big stupid and started to walk around on a bunch of magma stone, even though our chest plate was at 3%. And then I somehow managed to slip into the lava with our chest plate about to break. So we ended up losing our amazing chest plate that we had. Into the pool we go. And our chest plate broke. Oh, that's really sad. That was a really good chest plate. Can I please get out of the drink? Oh, our chest plate was the when we get attacked, we gain health. That's what it was. Oh, it was the gain health and resistance chest plate. Oh, that thing was so good. Oh, I'm so actually. Oh, I'm rotted. That was the instant health too every time we got hit. Oh, that thing was so good. No way. We threw that away. Oh, I'm actually gutted. I think I gotta leave though. My helmet's about to break. I already messed up enough for today. No, thank you. I leave now so I can repair helmets. When I got home, I repaired all of our gear, and then I went to sleep. Sleep so these phantoms don't get us. I kind of want to kill one of these to see if it'll give me a thing, but they're cool. I'll kill Wens. I want to keep Karen. <laughs> Wens is dead. They're all dead. Okay, well, he didn't even drop me anything. Karen, the misunderstood. You will live here forever alone. <laughs> also, what does this do again? Dispel stone. 
plus four armor points. If nothing is equipped in armor slots, instead gain plus 16 armor points, plus four armor toughness, and 40 explosion resistance. Whoa. Oh, we're in the blue bar on armor now. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. All the tools and stuff are fully repaired. Sweet. All right, let's increase our max health some more. Is it max now? Okay. So we can't get any more heart containers. That's good to know. Let's do stamina now. Wally's pants. I can actually add plus eight max health maybe to Wally's. So it turns out whenever you join the world, it restarts your health down to yellow. Yeah. Oh, we have green. Why do we only have green? But luckily it's only temporary though. And all you have to do is eat to get your saturation up and you'll slowly heal back up to where you were before. Give me back up to purple, please. <laughs> Is that maxed out? Great. Okay, let's let's make that a little bit better, I guess. Whoa, that's a cool dog. I actually have a bone for you too. <gasps> oh, he actually tamed. Nice. What? Oh, he's so dumb looking. I love it. Hey, right, come, come. <laughs> yeah, there you go, bud. Can I have a sword? Stop taking my sword, Shiba. I like your Shiba. Shiba Uno. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Screw you, Karen. Karen gets the death sentence. Or, well, life in prison, more like it, but... I'll put you on my shield. Nice. Oh, we're still healing. We get a full? Looks like it. What comes next? Pink. Ooh! <laughs> Dude. We have so many bars of health now. This is crazy. I mean, the only thing I can really think of doing next is piglin trades and then going to the end, uh, and then probably other biome. Ah, uh, yeah, we can do all that too. Yeah, why not? Let's really quickly. That's fine. Let's go back to the nether. I want to say, yeah, I got things to do, places to be. I don't got time to be messing about with stupid things. Oh, there's our pig. All right, time for the gold helm to go on. We need to do some commerce. Oh, the little one steals gold. No, screw you. He just robbed. He doesn't even trade. <laughs> Y'all seem calm down now, huh? Have some gold. Well, we've got 16 pearls so far also. Pretty nice. Seems like we're probably about done here, dude. Cool. 22 eyes of Ender. Sweet. I don't know what the dragon's going to be like in this mob pack. the only thing. It might be a little frightening. We'll find out, I guess. Let's go fight the Ender Dragon. <laughs> Congealed slime. Sure. I actually probably really need the slimes. I haven't a clue how I would get slime balls normally, so I kind of feel like that is a good idea to grab. This fortress is so far away, dude. Like, it's actually stupidly far away. This is the farthest I've traveled for a fortress, like, ever. What do we have here? Yo. Ooh, I like a pillager plushie. Also, I will take some wild carrots. I'd love to be able to grow them and make golden carrots eventually. Whoa. Dude, what? Oh, that's a lot of copper also. Dude, I'm, I feel like such a douchebag. I'm grave robbing, but like, they have such good stuff. <laughs> like, if you don't want your grave rob, don't put so much good things inside. Why is there a giant phallic shape in the middle of the water, dude? Oh my God. What are these things? Oh, baby, we're here. That going straight down, I believe. Yep. Oh, here we go. I spy. Sweet. Let's go. You never, yeah, see, like, you never, like, that's really good. Plus 12 health is insane. And I'm very happy I checked that. Oh, there it is. Let's go. That didn't take too, too long. It only took like a day or so, maybe. It's day 32. Again, again, ignore me. It's day 33. I'm just super stupid. Flipping finally. All right, here we go. I placed the pearls inside of the portal. And as I placed the last one, I prepare myself for what to come. It's fine. All right, here we go. Into the end. Are you? When we loaded in, we were falling into the void, and I freaked out, but it just turned out that nothing was generated yet, so it's okay. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> I thought we literally spawned in the void, like falling. I was like about to lose my mind. You have no, you have no idea. That would have infuriated me. Oh, I forgot to uh, keep our bow out. Shoot. Shooty, shooty, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, it's probably better to use the crossbow for this. Uh, all right. And I spent a little too long just observing the natural environment there. What are those things? Because there were some beautiful fishes and stuff. But this ender dragon that was here, man, <laughs> he knew that we were here the second we entered and he was out for our throat. So I, I really should have prepared myself and just gotten away from the edge as fast as possible. <laughs> 
Oh! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. I somehow hit the pearl clutch in the last second, getting us out of there just in time. Please. Ah, uh, that was terrifying. <laughs> I then decided to fight one of the weird mini bosses, which was an Enderman. And I came to find out that the little mini bosses inside of the end give you diamond and netherite gear. Thank you. What did it give me? It gave me a netherite helmet. Excuse me? What the heck? Crazy, dude. All right, lady. You are not cool. Oh my God. What is your issue? I'm only trying to kill you. Chill out. Okay, only one left. How much damage does my axe do? And man, I don't know what this dragon had out for me, but he kept launching me in the air. Oh, I have to... <sighs> Not that much. Oh, okay then. Thanks for the help, I guess. Now that all the end crystals were taken out, I started to chip down the dragon with my bow, and the real battle has started to begin. Come on, dude. Our sword gives us massive reach, so it was easy to hit him from far away. Forgot my attack range is huge. One more shot. There we go. Boom. Kaboom, dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Let's go. I made sure to collect egg before I left. Okay. Uh, sweet. Not all that useful to us. Dragon scale. There's two different types. Cool. I then decided I wanted to spend some time chopping up a bunch of mini bosses to try to get some better armor. One more hit. Nice. Now the shield. Uh, I don't really care. I'm trying to get armor, preferably. Oh, there's the legendary! It's a flippin' shulker? I saw the, another epic over there. Uh, I'm gonna go get the shulker, dude. That's sick. Me being a dummy, I forgot that Enderman teleport when hit by projectiles, so I assumed that the, the little things that make you levitate teleported the Enderman. Oh, you do not want to get hit by that. It'll teleport you or something, dude. I just watched that Enderman get yeeted. Oh, wait, never mind. They can't get hit by projectiles. I forgot. Why do they keep dropping shields? Stop giving me shields please please stop giving me shields <laughs> i do not need any more shields i have too many shields i wasn't getting great luck finding us some better gear so decided to just go to the ender islands and try to get us an elytra yeah all right i will leave you get us an elytra all right fine i want to leave now all right hope for the best oh okay Oh, oh no, it actually did work. Nice. Uh, okay. That should make it, right? <sighs> thank God. There's a warning trader over there. No, thank you. What the flip? What in the world is going on over here, dude? Yeah, it is a warning trader. Why is there a warning trader in the end, dude? Well, at least I can get a lot of shulkers now. I'm kind of hyped for that. Yeah, we can get a lot more shulker shells in here. Nice. I'll farm a couple of these up. I mean, come on. I'm not going to say no. They're that easy to make? This feels so cheap, like cheating. I thought you needed like eight per one. Dude, what? I, I can't, I can't reasonably stay there. Like, it feels so wrong. I'm sorry if there ends up being a little bit of lag because I turned my resolution up so I could find an end city. Probably should turn up my resolution really quickly. Temporarily. Turn it to 16. Very, very, very temporarily. Oh, there's a wandering trade over here. It says he's right here. Yeah, he is. He's right down there. Why are you here? Why? <laughs> oh, yeah, she sells cool things too. Whoa, that's really cool. I had emeralds. I do have emeralds actually. Wait, let me buy some of these. I will buy that. That's an ender chest. That is amazing. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I can make one of you. Oh. And since he had a chest and a crafting table in there, I made my first ever shulker box. Okay, wait, 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 Make a shulker box. My first ever one of these. Oh, I love it. I already love it. Oh, this is amazing. This is phenomenal. I think I'm in love. <laughs> I then noticed that a legendary spawned, and it ended up being a diamond armored evoker. Kinky cow. Is that you? Is that you, kinky cow? It is kinky cow. Let's go. Got him. Oh, let's go. Kinky Cow's windswept helmet of the volcano. What do we got? That's pretty decent. But the totem, totem's what matters because of this thing is what I want to make. Oh, that's an end city. And after about an hour or so, I managed to find my first ender city. I pillared up inside of the end city and I ended up finding that there was a bunch of shulker boxes inside of one of the buildings. Are those shulker boxes? Like free shulker boxes? Oh, uh, yeah. 
I will gladly take those. Thank you. And in one of the chests at the very top, I found a totem of void undying, meaning that now if we fall in the void, we will not die. We'll just teleport to the closest piece of land. Ooh, a totem of void undying? That's so good, dude. Oh my god, yes. I'm gonna equip that right now. Unfortunately, the end city did not have a boat, so I had a plan. I was going to walk on the same Z-axis from where the end city was, because supposedly that's how they spawn. So if I just run on the Z-axis, I should find more as I just keep going. All right, so if I use my brain here, where's the Z-axis? Apparently they spawn on the same Z-axis. So I want to run straight on the Z-axis going the other way. That's going to be weird, but let's do it, I guess. Oh yeah, my health is low because I just relogged. I was starting to have raised about our gear breaking down, but luckily I had an anvil, so I just repaired everything. Also, our sword's about to break. That's not good either, but I have cobble. I'll place down the anvil and fix it up and also fix up our axe. I will actually, let me see. Can I, I, I doubt it, but I'd like to see if maybe I could repair this with iron. Oh, I can. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, well, never mind. We're fine. No worries at all. While we were walking on the Z axis, there was an Endermite mini boss. So I killed it and it dropped us a chest plate. So finally, we have a chest plate again. Nice. Oh, he dropped a chest plate. He dropped us a chest plate. Let's go. <laughs> Plus eight max health. Poor luck. Two armor toughness. That's, yeah, I'm all right with that. Yes. Finally. Oh, heck yeah. We got some health back too. Oh, look at our health. We got a lot of health back. Finally. Yeah, well, there we go. We got, geez, almost a whole, another half a bar there of health. All right, well, let's just keep moving. Uh, Take the path of least resistance. Unless we see a legendary like that. Oh, come on, dude. It's another shulker too. So it's, it'll be easy, easy, easy cracks. Hey, finally. Hey, oh, another chest plate. Sweet. What did it give us? Oh, wait, and this one's a better one too, right? Oh, it's gotta be. No way, it's not. Uh, all right, this one, uh, prot five, projectile protection. I don't even know if it's seven. Uh, gives us resistance to when we're attacked. Uh, 14 plus 14 max health. And it's got two empty sockets. Does it give us more defense too? It gives us more armor toughness. A lot more armor. I'm swapping it. Yeah. Like it gives us less armor, but way more armor toughness. And it's got two empty sockets. So we can rip and stack it out with armor. Dude, are we about to have full row of pink? I think that might be max. It's gotta be max, right? Oh, almost a full row of pink. Keep giving me the shulkers. I like you. Gotcha. What was it? Diamond boots. Those are good. Those are actually going to be better than ours. Once I de-socket them, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Another illager or pillager, whatever they are. They always drop some good stuff. Oh, he's wearing netherite too. Oh, this is going to be nice. What do we got? A netherite shovel. I mean, actually, I don't have a good shovel, so that's pretty nice. What is it? Uh, breaks five by five, gives haste, netherite effectiveness against all blocks. Wait, does this shovel break everything? So yeah, it turns out that this shovel can literally melt any blocks in the game. It's insane. Dude, dude, what the heck? This shovel's crazy. I'm actually scared to use that thing. That is so insane. What the flip, dude? That's terrifying. There's an ender city. Let's go. Oh, it's only one little tower, I think, though. Flip, dude. More shulker boxes. Woohoo. All right, whatever. I got a couple free sharp uh, shulkers out of it. I'm out of here. What the heck? Keep running on that 250Z axis, I guess. I think I see a shulker thing also over here. Lovely. Yep. Another end city. Yes. So we're definitely running on the right Z axis. Axis. Oh, we have a ship. Yes. Finally, let's go. Can you hit me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Hit me, please. Thank you. Keep them coming. All the best loot's at the top of the tower here, too. So that's where I'm trying to get to anyways. And then I'll make my way over. Ooh, ow. Okay, never mind. Keep them coming, fellas. We're almost at the top here. All right. I've been getting tons of totems from the chest on top of the cities. Uh, mending mixture. Nice. I love that. Ooh, plus 12 max out. That's nice. I also came to realize that you can right click on stuff while holding a shulker to pick things up. So I used it to clean up our inventory. Oh, no way. That's sweet. You can just do that? Oh, that's so nice. Well then, I'm cleaning up some inventory space here. Sweet. Check that out. Sweet. That actually saves so much inventory space, dude. Alrighty, let's head out to the ship. The ship is this away. I came to the conclusion that I could get a bunch of prismarine crystals from the sea lanterns here, so I decided to grab some. I need prismarine crystals for this. I'm gonna get them then. Oh wow, there's a lot of them here. Sure. I don't mind that. And then I pearled onto the boat. Woo, that was close. <laughs> oh, free anvil. I will never be saying free no to a free anvil. Oh, there is an elytra. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Oh, 
Finally, dude. Oh, dude, that's so nice. I'm so happy about this. Do you just combine the two? No, how do you how do you make a firework? Firework. Oh, it's literally just gunpowder and paper? But I thought you had to use I thought you had to use firework charges. What do you use a firework star for now? What? It's just paper and gunpowder? I don't even think I have gunpowder. Ooh, I have a silk touch pick. I can actually take this with me. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. Dude, this that look how many shulkers of loot we have. This is stupid. Yeah, I have an idea. I, I know how to use elytras, but I don't want to really waste it. We have one now, though. So that's all that really matters. That's the whole reason I came here. <laughs> so I'm not inclined to stay here any longer. Get mending on it and some fireworks. And we're breezy, dude. We are absolutely breezy then. All right, I'm going to try something dumb. See if I can't make this throw. I almost jumped off. Yeah, that pearl kind of went to the void. <laughs> I went home just to be safe. <laughs> Whoa, where am I? All right, well then, I'm all the way back at spawn. You might set my spawn somewhere else, but okay. I decided to fight the boat full of pillagers. And you know what? It, it was a good choice because there was barrels full of gunpowder. So I could make some fireworks. Oh, gunpowder. Ha <laughs> Home is a thousand blocks that way. Oh my Lord, that's going to be a long, long time away. You know, I guess it is as good as time. Let me get a crafting table. Okay, let me... Let's make fireworks, as many as we can, and all right, it's sweet. And let's fly. Oh, our home's more, it was more than a thousand. It's like, it's like 1300, jeez. Guess we're flying home, free as a bird. Ow, <laughs> it kind of hurt. Hello, Karen, I'm home, how are you? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, hello. Ding dong, ding dong, Karen. Enjoy the bell. You know, like the bell, huh, Karen? Too bad. Karen, your bell. <laughs> but Karen, no, I bring you gift. Honest, I bring you gift. Hira, <laughs> Jeplashi. I know you like the gift. I, I think you're welcome. <laughs> All right, let me let me place down our ender chest and start plopping down shulkers. This is going to be brutal. Oh man, organizing this is going to be awful. Thank God we have a lot of shulkers. And we can make even more. This is crazy. This is actually stupid. Oh my god, this is dumb. I need more chest. Cal 41 chest. I am going to have to organize everything. This is going to be awful. Okay. For now, I will dump everything I have right here. And then start transferring. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's just start grabbing gems. That's pretty nice. That's a lot of gems. <laughs> like, a boatload of gems. Uh, Alright, and now... I'll probably be back once I have all this organized, I'd say, that is what I'll do, because this is going to be a lot. And that is the treasure chest. Well, our chest plate has two empty sockets. We can socket it really quickly with something good, hopefully. Give it a plus 12 max health and another plus 12 max health. That could work. I mean, honestly, why not? <laughs> Give us another 24 health if it works. I'd have to see once I put one on if it'll work. If it doesn't change with the one on, then uh, it, it won't change, period. Oh, it looks like it's going to... Oh, wow. We have another whole bar of health. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. Oh, baby, that's going to be crazy crazy oh we're even gonna break into another whole bar of health what comes after this light pink i'm excited to see yellow dude we're actually stupidly powerful right now <laughs> this is bad holly heck uh all right let's get the rest of these emptied out i think that's all of them emptied now yep that's all of our shulk uh, shul uh, shulkers emptied. Nice. All right, cool. So this is <laughs> this is the hall. Uh, we have all of these are epics up here, and all these are legendaries, and all the totems. And down here is mob drops. This is all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, here is some gems. And more gems in the back. Even more. And here is food. And here is miscellaneous with more miscellaneous above it all kinds of different blocks uh, a bunch of different armor in here with even more blocks and armor back here and here is even more miscellaneous stuff and i think i've already showed you the gems that's 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 all the stuff <laughs> 
that's a lot it's a lot of stuff it is a lot it is a lot of stuff all right let's make i'm gonna make some more shulkers actually because i'm feeling like it i'm gonna make a bunch of shulkers oh my god that's a lot of shulkers i then decided that my next course of action would to get mending so i could put it on all of our gear and not have to worry about any of it breaking i am going to try and get some mending books for the way. actually you know what first of all i have a lot of spirit orbs i can't use i can't use them for any other items okay can't get any more health max our stamina out okay <laughs> all right Alrighty then. See, there's a couple of things now. I think I, I'm thinking about doing one of them. I need to. I need mending. That is that is something that is an essential. Which means I need to find villagers that are unemployed. Okay, they are now getting all library man on me. Trees. Oh, oh. dude, that was so quick. Let's go. Oh, that was so fast. Dude, look, it's still day 44. And I can't explain to you how painful right, it is, is to gone. get mending so fast. And then your game crash. And when you come back, they no longer have mending enchantments. Oh, my game crash. My game crash. Why? We're back, but we lost the mending book because of the flipping game crash. Are you kidding me? A few minutes later. Yes, there it is. We got it again. Oh, finally. I am going to go and get to the waystone, leave, come back with a bunch of books and a bunch of emeralds. Oh, finally, dude. 44 still. Okay, well, that's lovely. Oh, that reminds me also. Quest book. It's fine. The nether. Into the nether. Kill the nether keeper. What? The end. There we go. Kill the ender dragon. Cool. Cool. A lot more to do, it seems. Nice. Use me on an altar. What altar? All right, we'll put you here for now. All right, uh, 21 books. All my emeralds. I should be fine. All right, let's go. There we go. Dude, those are expensive too. Okay, well then. I have to get a way to get some more emeralds. Is there a Fletcher? You a Fletcher yet? Yeah. Thank you. I'll start collecting wood. Okay, there should be plenty of wood. Hello, sir. I have lots of sticks for you. No, no, no. Hey, pick it up. No, no, you flipper. Thank you. Pick it up. Bro, you're getting on my nerves, Holmes Lies. Stop it. Thank you. Ha ha. Hello, sir. Bro, how you gonna do that? I'm a Fletcher. Hello, Jerry. All right, well then, you suck. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some more mending books. You can only afford, what, two? Three? That's fine. Still putting it on there. Uh, Hello, sir, Fletcher. Can I trade you some sticks? That's all I got for you, man. I just need to do this one last stack. What's up, bro? Thanks for the books. All right, let's go home. Sweet. I will be putting mending on everything. Before I wanted to put mending on our gear, I decided to make a little enchanting area. So I made a bunch of bookshelves with stripped birch bark. Oh, whoa, it makes four each. Okay. <laughs> That's, I mean, sure. Won't see me complaining. No sorry, Bob. Yeah, yeah there is level 30s. Cool. I only wanted to enchant my thingamabob over here. Can I, it, does it tell me the enchantment? The runes reveal all. Unbreaking three, unbreaking two, unbreaking one. Okay. Why am I so, such low level all of a sudden also? I thought I had a lot of levels. I guess not. Uh. I have a lot of tomes. Yeah, I have a lot of tomes. Oh my lord, that's a lot of tomes. And I have a bunch of enchantment bottles coming through now too. Lord, all right, well here we go. We're gonna be here a while. That should be all the tomes, I believe. And we got 53 bottles of enchanting. Cool, gets us to level 58. Uh, I don't care, all right. And then I'll plop mending on her and she's good. Uh, let's get mending on you. Sweet. Uh, you know what? I'll also put it on my other armor too. And my axe. And my sword. And I'm out of levels. <laughs> so never mind. Is there a use for this? Oh, there is uses for this. Allows you to remotely access your ender chest via the keybind. Oh, I'm gonna make the ender ring. That's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Like that? Sweet. Oh. 
Oh no, there it is. Whoa, you look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, would you look at that? That is lovely. That's really, really nice, actually. I then went outside at night to try to farm up some more gunpowder to make a bunch more fireworks. And while I was exploring, I found this weird building that had some candles in it, so I stole them. Engineer's goggles, like I'm actually loving this dude's place. It's gorgeous and I'm gonna steal his candles. But most importantly, I found turtle eggs in his kitchen. And since I had a silk touch pickaxe, I took them and I decided that I was gonna hatch them. Oh, there's turtle eggs here. I need to search up how to hatch a turtle egg. Okay, and I also have a silk touch pickaxe. So can I pick it up? Oh, whoa. Can I place them? <gasps> I'm gonna hatch some turtles. I'm 100% hatched turtle. Ooh, honey too. I'm a skadoodling. See ya, bro. Wouldn't want to be a... We arrived home on the morning of day 49, and I decided that I needed to craft a bunch more fireworks. Okay. Where'd all my gunpowder go? I had like a stack of gunpowder, I thought. Ah, uh, I see. Oh no, I didn't. Where the heck did it go then? Oh, there it is. There's my stack of gunpowder. I knew I had like a stack of gunpowder. Make a bunch of fireworks really quick. And let's go get some sand. Oh yeah, let me get some sand while I'm here. All right, that's a full inventory of sand. <laughs> while I was gathering the sand, I found us a new friend. Is that a blue lobster? Where'd he go? Yeah! Yes! Uh, yes! It is a blue lobster. I just got a bucket of lobster. Yes, that's awesome. Whoa! That is a gigantic sperm whale. Let's go, bro. I killed the whale thinking it would have some pretty cool drops. It it didn't. Whoa. He didn't drop anything, did he? Oh, I was I, I was hoping that he would drop something. That's why I killed him. That was such a cool animal, dude. Oh, I feel so bad. Whoa, monkey. Monkey. Oh, they're chimpanzees. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, ah! Chimpanzees, man, they'll, they'll like rip your arms off and beat you to death with them and laugh while doing it. <laughs> Those things are terrifying. They're like smartest people though, but like only by the malice. Like, <laughs> they're evil little buggers. What do we have here? Ooh, mahogany. Oh, rainbow eucalyptus. Oh, that's so cool. Rainbow eucalyptus, mahogany. Yeah, I got all that. All right, that's fine then. This is so cool. Dude, it's like an ender city, but it's a villager city. <laughs> Yeah, Skyward Cities. Oh, this is so cool. They all have such, there's such like variety in, in the housing and stuff in this mod pack. That's what I love about it, I think. The fact that like I'm running into like tons of different village types and none of them are really the same, if you know what I mean. Like I'm in the same biome and I've had like five different village types. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like now there's another village here and it's like a beach village and it's so different. <gasps> Whoa, those are elephants. Oh my God. What is that? Planting grass. Every half day, the baby Philoth will get hungry, toss it any meat, feed it. After two days, the Philoth will be fully grown. There's a roo. There's a kangaroo. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm loving it. McDonald. <laughs> dude, I'm actually having a time in my life right now. Are those jerboas? Oh my god, that's a jerboa. It's actually a jerboa. I'm wondering really quickly. I remember I put a way. Uh, no, um, no, I probably didn't put it there actually. That sucks. I was thinking I put a waystone down where the uh, blue skies guys was, because I kind of wanted to go uh, look into that. Because I've, I've been looking for one here, but I don't really know. I don't really know. I remember seeing him at one point. I just, I just don't remember where. It was like way, way early on in the video. I couldn't end up finding him, so I just flew my way home, and it ended up being about day 51 by the time I got home. Okay. I have an idea. I think now we have an elytra. We go to the nether. Try to find us a boss. We can do nether. Kill nether keeper. Keeper. Keeping castle spawns in nether ways and crimson forest to summon. Right click the altar with the nether star. Before I left to go to the nether, I made sure to set up a little carrot farm so I could make some golden carrots and a sugarcane farm. So that way we have loads of paper for fireworks. I also took a minute to set up an auto sugarcane farm just so it would all be a little more efficient. Yeah. That'll work. All right, so it looks like the sugarcane farm thing works right now. It looks like it works uh, as far as I can tell. So that's how it'll work. All right, other than that, I do want to also try to hatch our uh, turtles. I dug out a large area and I filled it in with sand because I was planning on making a little pond and putting the turtles inside of it. I'm making a turtle enclosure. 
For now, I'll just do it like this. But eventually, I want to open it up into like a big ocean pond thing there for him. All right, let's see how this works. And torches. I then placed down a layer of dirt because I was planning on putting water buckets all over the top of it. And then I was just going to delete the dirt. And then all the water would have been source blocks. Shoot. Actually, yeah. I do need to bring this wall up a bit more. All right, let's start filling her. Oh, wow. That filled in quick. Sweet. <laughs> that went remarkably quickly. And then, as far as I can tell, I just do this. All right, thank you. I don't see any flowing water. How the turtle's doing? I mean, that definitely looks cracked compared to that. So is that. Oh, heck yeah, dude. They're actually hatching. I then made the stupid mistake to try to use one of them to boost my way over the fence when I tried to jump over it, and I ended up breaking one of them. <gasps> Okay, note to self, you can't stand on them. All, all right, great. I thought you could stand on them. Why did that have to be logical, Minecraft, all of a sudden? Why you had to use brain all of a sudden, dude? That's really annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, we got a baby turtle. We got a baby turtle. Oh my gosh. I'm naming this lobster Larry, by the way. And there's nothing you can do about it. He will be Larry the Lobster. I then crafted a ton of golden carrots because I wanted it to be my new food source. And make a whole ton of these. Sweet. We got plenty of gold carrots now. How's the turtle doing? He's vibing. Let me get a name tag to put on it. I'm going to name her Beatrice. Beatrice. Boom. Beatrice the turtle. All right. Now the plan is to go to the nether. Oh, our turtle grew. I didn't get a turtle scoot. Are you kidding me? That was the whole reason I did it. Was for the scoot. Dang it. <laughs> Whatever. Right now I got more presidenting issues. Uh, like going and trying to find this flipping boss to kill. Let's go to the nether. Try to find this boss. Maybe this. Ah. Oh, this, this looks like it, maybe, maybe below. I think I've already been down here is the only thing. Yeah, like I think I've already been in this. Another one of these castles. Maybe this one will have a clearer altar if it is the right one. That's why I'm so confused, dude. Oh, here it is. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Well, I feel like I should probably make more space for myself, but I'm going to say, mm, screw it and just go for it. Get my notch apple ready. Let me get my uh, health up. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, that was nothing. <laughs> that was absolutely nothing. All right, sweet. We got our first netherite and warped Moscow, whatever that is. Kill awful ghosts. Awful ghost spawns in the soul sand valley and warped forest. Right click the altar with a nether star to summon the awful gas. I don't have a nether star anymore. So do I, I guess I need to kill a couple of withers now. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh, I don't want to kill withers. Give me that sweet return to sender. All right, you know what? Screw you. Ow! <laughs> you suck. Alright. Let me kill this warped Moscow. Destroyer of Chads. After a while, I found the awful gas spawner. Is this the castle? Oh, I think this is the thing I'm looking for. I think so. Yeah, it looks like it, because there's more keepers around. Soul Magma. Awful gas. Yep, this is him. So what is this? That is a wither spawner. Yes, please. I can farm some wither skulls then really easily to fight the wither to get those nether stars. Oh, yeah. Already dropping me heads. Love that. These guys always drop heads. Oh, they always drop heads, too. Oh, we can just fight the nether, the wither right now. And I guess let me plop you back down, sir. I already got two skulls. Let me get one more. Sweet. Got my three skulls and I just need a bit of soul sand. I'm good. All right, let's fight this mother lover. All right, let's fight the wither. Here we go. Boom. Countless death souls emerged in the abomination of such terrible form that it defies description. The earth probably should ooh, eat up a little bit. Okay, well, I made a mistake. <laughs> Falling in a hole. This is fine. Why am I slowed? Ow. The world raises relieved. Sounds of burden, some presence of that horror. Alrighty then. 
Sweet. And Nether Star. Sweet. Let me just make some inventory space. All right, let's do it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to heal up, actually, because, wow, I'm starting to get low. Whatever it is, we're getting a little low. This is probably the lowest I've been in a while, so I'm going to munch on some curts. Stop <laughs> igniting. Oh. I'm going to get a full roll of pink, and then I'm content. Awful gas. Here we go. All right, well, it's dead. That was quick. <laughs> that was incredibly fast. Uh, and for it, we got an awful gun. And I don't know what else. <laughs> awful gun. What does it do? Shoots awful gas ball. Fireball. That's cool. It does, like, no damage, but it's cool. I actually kind of want to take these pushers, by the way. I think they, look, I think they would be kind of useful. Oh, maybe even the igniter. Or like an auto farm. Yeah. All right. What do we got next? Get that XP. I already have a backpack. I don't need another one. Cool. And then what? Where are you? Nether monstrosity. I don't even know how to spawn that bugger. <laughs> Let me search this. All right. Well, it looks like we should get some netherite then. We need netherite scraps and stuff. All right. You know what? Let's let's do that. I decided that our amazing shovel would be amazing at getting netherite. Oh, there's another right. <laughs> so I essentially just stripped mined with it, just <laughs> tearing apart the bottom floors of the nether and completely caving it out. Holy shit. I didn't even realize how much we've dug out. This is insane. Holy crud. This is crazier than I thought it was. I, this is nuts. Like, bro, look at this. This is crazy. Whoa, that's a pretty big cluster. Like, this is the first time I've used this shovel to its actual like full base uh, uh, capability. Cause usually I just like tap once and then I'm like, oh, that's way too much and I leave it alone. But with this, it's like insane. And I'm actually using it because I want to clear out a large area. So it's like completely wanted for it to be crazy. This is nuts. All right, our shovel's getting low. Let's leave. Yep. Even though I've only had the Elytra for a short period of time, I think I'm starting to get pretty decent at it. Woohoo! Let's go. Home is that way. Making my way downtown. What is this? Blaze Lantern? Okay. Alright, we're almost home. Up. And over. Sweet. Here we go. God, I love having an Elytra. Oh, it's so nice. Also, put mending on here would be a great idea. Mending on our shovel. And I'm gonna put our shovel in our, our side hand. Oh yeah, that's already healing up. Look at him. Dimple? No, they got Dimple. Dimple, I, I'm not letting, I will not let you them kill you. Don't, don't worry, Dimple. Come in here, Dimple. There, finally, I got Dimple. I put a couple of blocks on top of Dimple and I decided I was gonna come back and cure him later on. Gotta cook the netherite. Oh, I need a, oh shoot, nah, I don't care. I think it'll still smelt in this, just not as fast. No, oh, that's still going really quickly, actually. Okay, let's um see the scratching recipe works that I was looking at. Please flip and work, dude. Uh, so I guess we just have to look for this like big castle type of thing. It sucks a lot. It's fine though, for now, I guess. I'm gonna make some nether bars. All right, well, we have nether right now. Oh, I can make featherite too. An ultimerite? What the flip? What? I need to see now what the alterite is used. It, it does. What does it do? Alterite. Let's see. Set bonus from. Okay, well, it doesn't say what the individual ones are. Let me increase movement speed and water prevents Energol and. Okay, that's. This is. I'm actually thinking about maybe making that. Oh, God. I'm making this. <laughs> I am making it. What do I need for that? Golderite, easy. Okay, Golderite is easy. Blazerite, easy. Prismarite, easy. Enderite, easy. Spiderite, easy. Witherite, super easy. Fa easy, easy. I mean, even the feather, the feathers might be the only thing that's actually hard. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, well, we're, we're gonna need a lot more netherite then. Whatever it is, I'm gonna set up all my wither spawners I have and farm up some nether stars, I think. Um, okay, this should be deep enough for the spawners, right? Yeah, it's working now. I say, come on, fellas, don't be shy. Now I'm just farming skulls. Probably have life steal too. I'd like to farm up a stack of skulls, preferably. I love when mod packs let you pick up spawners. Like, why can't I pick up the wither spawner and bring it here and farm skulls somewhere where I don't have to be in hell, literally and figuratively? Like, I love it. I love that they let me do this. Yeah, we, we need 69 or 66. I'll grab, I'll grab uh, 69, I guess. Okay, that's 69. Okay. 
Now, I am I, I am indeed going to be very stupid, and I'm going to fight a lot of these at once. <laughs> Is this going to be the end of us? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure that out. We'll, fi we'll figure it out. Oh, uh, let's see. Two rows, I guess. Let's try two rows. Here we go. Okay, well, I'm screwing it up pretty bad. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that didn't really go as I planned. Uh, this is, okay, this is pretty bad. Yeah, let's really quickly get out of here. That was terrifying, though. Holy shiz. All right, let's try to go back. Where are they all? Oh, there they are. Oh, I made a huge mistake, dude. All right, that's one dead. Oh, God, where are they all? Guys, where did you all go? No. Oh, they're up here. <laughs> Air battle, I guess. Okay, I'm about to try to do something here. I'm gonna eat this notch apple though, just in case. I'm pretty confident that if I can hit him with the axe, it'll mess him up really bad. Ugh. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that, there we go. One more hit. Boom. Okay, that's most of them dead. Ah. I think it's all of them. Yep, that's all of them. Why'd I only get four stars though? I killed them all. I only got four stars though. I decided to fight two more because I was trying to get at least a couple more nether stairs. <laughs> and that way I could have enough for all my armor and tools. Oh yeah, back up. Let them, let them get all fired up or whatever they want to do. Okay, fellas. <laughs> and then for some reason, I also felt the need to fight even more. Well, this might be too many, actually. I don't know if I entirely trust myself with, uh, I mean, five of them's fine, yeah. I hope. <laughs> I say nervously. Very, very nervously. Matter of fact, uh... Why'd only some of them spawn? What? Oh, alrighty then. Oh my god, okay. Well, I may have made a mistake. Never mind, we're fine. Yeah, we're chilling. That was a lot less scary than I thought it would be. All right, let's fight another wither. All right, let my axe charge up. I'm gonna try to down smash them right away. Oh, of course I missed. Bruh, come down here, you pussies. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Have my friends made it down to me? They have, yes. I can fight them normally, thank you. Okay, all right. By normally, I still mean Stupidly. One last weather all the way up here. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, that's fine. 13 stars, whatever. Good enough. Got some more fireworks made. Um, So you have to make it into one of these and then you can combine it with the altar, right? Oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> That's so bad. It's fine though. I'm doing it. Uh, well, first of all, kaboom, right? And then from here, I would like to go. Uh, I'll do. I mean, I can do the gilded one, can't I? Oh, you just need four. Right, that's fine by me. Four now, that's fine. Do our pants too, why not? I also made a goldorite ingot for our shovel. So now we have a goldorite shovel, which gives us fortune one on it. Before I decided to go back to the nether and farm up even more netherite so we can make some ultimate bars. All right, whatever, let's go to the nether. <laughs> oh, hey buddy. Honestly, you give me a minute, I might have some stuff for you. Dude, my PC is not handling this. It, it does not like what I am doing right now. Whoa, we got a full stack of netherite? When the flip did that happen? Also, yes. Oh, he took it all too? But he wants more? Since when are you so open to trading this stuff? Yes, please. Do they not have a limit on it? Oh, no, no, there is. It's just way bigger than normal. Oh, baby, you'll love to see that. I'm gonna try to get one last stack of netherite and then I'm good. I have three more netherite and we're good. Three netherite shouldn't be hard to find. We need one more. Yeah, well, we got more than one more. I'm gonna grab some more on the way back, and then we're good. All right. Now, I would have really loved to find another one of those go uh, goblins, but doesn't seem to be our luck. We could wait a bit. Maybe one spawns, but I don't know. Whatever it is, let's go above ground and run around above there, above ground for a quick minute. I got sidetracked while I was walking around trying to find a goblin, and I decided to hit a couple bastions while I was down there. Ah, there's some gold. Well, I guess I could explore a little bit while I'm down here. 
see if I can't find that like forge thing for the next boss down here. The monstrosity, which is hard as heck to find. No, it's a bastion. I'm stupid. It's just another bastion. Oh. <laughs> I heard a gobby. Yeah, he's right above me. Yeah, there he is. Gobby. Gobby. Sweet. Dude, we have almost three stacks of netherite scrap. Yes, that is awesome. All right, cool. Let's see what this big circle over here is. Just three geodes, I'm guessing. Oh, whoa, no, it's not. It's full of wither skeletons. Oh, soul stone. Oh, that's for fighting the wither boss. Oh, I see. Oh, that's what this is. That's for like the scarier wither. Okay. Oh, this leads to the... Oh, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> I returned to sender by using my own. That's funny. Let's keep going this way, I guess. I mean, go a little bit farther and then I'm, and then I'm giving up. Ah, I see. This is where they keep their gold, which I'll take. Blazing core. Um, immunity to fire, temporary immunity to lava, bans those who attack you in melee. I get it. That's where. I mean, to not have any ability, to, not to get burned anymore would be nice. All right, man. I guess we start making our way home, assuming we can even get there with eight. <laughs> Literally eight fireworks. Oh man, we can do it in, if the, with the three. If I can like get into absolute perfect placing, but that's the problem, right? Is getting into that placing. I mean, the gold's out in the open. Maybe I do go grab it. I'll just grab this gold because it's out in the open. It's very clear to me that I need to make a mob farm because I'm gonna need a lot more fireworks if I want to be exploring, trying to find this thing. All right, I'm gonna give it a second to. Get all this lava out of here. I'm gonna make a golden golem though. That look, I think I, I, I have so much gold and that looks like it'd be funny. How do I make gold sheets? Oh, those are cheap too. Yeah, I'm gonna make a gold golem really quickly. I'm gonna make a couple gold golems. I don't know what these things do, but I'm gonna make like five of them and just release them. I wanna see what they do. <laughs> what are these things, what do they do? Do they just hang out? I guess they just hang out. There's no mobs around. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, there's yeah, there's. I want to see if they attack things. But, oh, man, but, but oh. Get them, golems. <laughs> oh, they're actually kind of getting them, too. Dang, they're not bad. They actually kind of got them. <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. Oh God, look at him. Can I get bones? Can I tame that wolf? He doesn't like bones, right? <gasps> what? I didn't know I could tame skeleton wolves. Are you living kidding me? I then decided that I wanted to try to fight the weird upgraded wither boss that apparently is in this mod pack, where you use soul stone instead of soul sand. I tried summoning it above in the overworld and it didn't really work. So I came to the nether to try to get it to work. If it's gonna work, it'll work here. All right, here we go. Oh, it worked. Oh, it just had to be in the nether. Okay, sweet. Oh, fudge. I'm scared, dude. And I was worried because I was expecting it to be a way stronger wither. But uh, as it turns out, it's just a normal wither. Oh, it's fine. Very weird. It's just another nether. It's 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 just the normal wither, essentially. Was it just a normal wither? I'm so confused. That seemed like just a normal wither. Do I have perfect amount to do these? So I decided to fight three more at the same time just to confirm that they're just normal withers. <laughs> this is probably a really bad idea. I'm gonna do it though. Oh, this was a bad idea. <sighs> Let's go. And yeah, as you can see, they're literally just normal withers. They kind of just went down just as easy as the others. All right, <laughs> killed the wither. We killed we killed the soul stone wither in that, like we killed four of them actually. So I guess that was a thing. It was supposed to be difficult. <laughs> I was so worried about it, like being super strong. I feel like there's like when we're stacked out, there's not all that much that anything can really do to be fair. We're kind of like stupid strong. And why will my turtles not hatched? Also, in case you've been wondering how I've been getting so much paper to make all the fireworks, <laughs> I found a bit of a bug where you can kind of just use bone meal to make the sugarcane grow super, super high. And uh, 
<laughs> we're we're currently in fall, so the sugarcane won't grow on its own. So I'm kind of taking advantage of it in order to get paper. I don't care if it's a glitch. If uh, like 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 they they made it so we don't get <laughs> any sugarcane in any other seasons, like other than summer, which is the farthest away season right now. Like we were never going to be able to get sugarcane if we didn't do this. So it, it, it is how it is. Is that all the sugarcane? Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm gonna go and make some paper and da 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 Sweet. Now we have more paper than we'll ever need. <laughs> Boom. We had a shulker of paper. I would think that we could go to the end and try to do a boss fight there. Boom. There's 33 netherites. And we already have five. So we are... Oh, I have more? Shoot. Jeez. There's 54 netherite. <laughs> That's more now. Oh, what the heck? Dude, that is literally more netherite than I've ever seen before. I keep forgetting I need to get feathers for featherite. Oh, it's going to be annoying. Shoot. I also need a bunch of gunpowder. Also, I just realized something. Our elytra can go into our backpack slot. No shot. Well, I am fit as a fiddle. Why don't I just do that? <laughs> Would you look at that? I don't even need to take off my chest plate. Wowzers. <laughs> That's sick. While I was out exploring, trying to find some sources of gunpowder and other things along those lines, I found some weird mushrooms, which actually gave me brown mushrooms, which was perfect because I needed them in order to make a zombie cure so I could cure Dimple. Wait, do these give brown mushrooms? Oh, they do. Okay, we can cure the villager back at home then. Oh, okay, we really needed brown mushrooms. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank God. I'm actually going to grab literally all the brown mushrooms I can find. That's so, so nice. Oh, yeah. Over a stack of brown mushrooms. <sighs> Could not ask for better. All right, I'm going to run around and kill some creepers, try to get some more gunpowder so I can make fireworks and actually get some work done here. Kaboom. How much gunpowder do we have? Yeah, this isn't really working all that good, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, this is probably not the most ideal gunpowder gathering method, I'm gonna be honest. Creepers do not seem to be as common as I thought they were. They definitely do not drop as much gunpowder as they thought they were. I thought they did, I mean. All right, screw it, I'm leaving. Let's go to the end. I used our waystone to go to a waystone in the end, so that way we were there quickly, instead of having to go through the portal again. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yo, buddy. To be able to fly up here and just check it out is so nice. God. I'm so happy we got the Elytra now. I'm trying to find where this flipping boss is. Now, I need to kill an Ender Golem, not an Endstone Golem. Yeah, like, it's good if... Oh, you... I love that. That's really cool. A notebook that hisses at you when you touch it. Love that. That's really... That's terrifying. Really just terrifying as almighty heck. And man, do I love it. Actually, wait. Oh, this is the shelterer altar. I'm an idiot. I've been seeing, I saw this thing way early on. Are you kidding me? Oh, I have another star. Oh, oh, oh. Please work. Where, where are you? Is that you? Oh, it said to use TNT to kill it, didn't it? <laughs> I didn't bring any TNT. Oh, wait, but I do have this. Will this work? Damn it. Wait, it is working! Let's go! Okay, that doesn't do anything. Let me just keep blasting this guy then. An idea, also. That went really quickly. Wow. I didn't realize how easily I can get obsidian. Jeez. I built a small obsidian roof above the shelter. That way, when I shot it with the awful gas gun, the fireball would hit him and then bounce up and hit the obsidian and blow up again, hitting him twice per shot. Now, I think if I hit this now... Yeah, yeah, baby. All right, here we go. That's the stuff. This clearly isn't the way you're supposed to do it. And like TNT probably does a lot more damage, but I don't know, man. Apples and oranges. We can definitely finish it off. We got like five more shots. Three, two, or one, I mean. Oh, there he is. And then boom. 
and he's dead. And it gives us void crystals. And what the heck do I use void crystals for? Teleporter, that's cool. Make a teleporter out of it, I guess. Sweet. <laughs> oh, we got another end city over here. With a ship. Spare a light for anybody. Heh <laughs> cool. Alright, I'll be on my way. Oh, wait. I just realized I haven't been grabbing the dragon head. Also, is this wool? Sir. Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. That's awesome. I'm about to have a shulker full of wool, is what I'm about to do. I don't necessarily need it anyways, because I've been just using our shovel for um, netherite. But I mean, like, you never know when you'll need uh, wool for building or anything along those lines. And it'll save me from having to make a sheep farm ever. Wow, that's a full shulker of wool. Let's get another one going. All right, that's all the wool. Jeez, almost two shulkers of wool. Insane. I actually don't think this is an end city. Wait, this is it. Go the altar. Let's go. Ugh, finally. Lord almighty. Do I just hit him with another nether star? Because I am ready to do it if that's the case. Boom. Nope. I went down to the bottom of the structure and I found a chest that had some dragon's breath in it. I came to realize that you just needed to use the dragon breath in order to summon the boss, not another star. Okay, right click it with the dragon's breath. Sweet. Oh, jeez, he's actually strong. Uh oh. What the f Did something- did one of our armor pieces break? Oh, it gave us a shulker orb. <laughs> Alrighty, well then. As I left to go find the next boss, I checked our quest book. I realized that that wasn't the Ender Golem. I guess there's a different Ender Golem. <laughs> Wait, what? I did- it said I didn't kill the Ender Golem. Did I not? That was him, was it not? I'm so confused. Chris, maybe I'll look for another one. Try again. And while I was flying around looking for the boss, I found that there was a skeleton just floating in the void. So I went down to check it out. Why is there a skeleton, dude? And I made a massive mistake and nearly got us killed. Why is there just a skeleton in the void? Yo. <gasps> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk. <gasps> That skeleton's cursed. Looks like fellow was real boned. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Shortly after that, my game crashed, and I assumed it was because it was trying to generate a large area, which made me think that I might have found the next boss. All right, our game, our game crashed. So we were going this way, but it seems like the literal generation stops all of a sudden. I see. A ruined citadel? Void stone? Okay, so this is something that- this is something. This is definitely something. And something it indeed was, because shortly after that, I found the next boss. I have no clue. You're so- Because I mined down, ran around, and ran directly face to face with the golem, and it scared the poop out of me. Okay, this is the ender golem, I see. But since we crashed, we didn't have any health. I don't have any health. Literally everywhere I go, it brings me back to him. Oh, here he is. All right, let's do it. Ah. Okay, that was a lot less scary than I, <laughs> than I thought it would be. That was fine. Unholy Grail, you'd better not drink from it. I really want to. Weird, dude. How did I... Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, is there two? There's actually two of them? I thought I was just getting teleported around. There's actually two of them. Oh, that's cool. Not long after that, I had the bright idea to try to dig down. And this is where the real boss was hidden. And trust me, this man meant business. What is that? Oh, uh, oh jeez. Oh my god, okay. What? Okay, we got him. <laughs> with one of the last bosses in the incompleted, it left us with only one boss left. The Void Worm. And he was to come soon. I'm coming for you, Void Worm. That's the Ender Golem taken care of. And the Ender Guardian. 
and the shelterer. And the only thing left is the void worm. Okay. Crimson mosquito larvae. All right. And caspid. So we need to use the items that we got from the ender guardian. Is that what I said? Use the items from the ender guardian quest to help summon the void worm. Let me search this up. Okay. So it is from Alex's mobs, I guess. And it says dropping a mysterious worm into the void of the end. A mysterious worm is created by placing a crimson mosquito larvae into a capsid dropped by the end. Okay, so we have the capsid and we have the larvae. I placed the larvae inside of the capsid and it turned into a mysterious worm. Okay, we got the mysterious worm and then we dropped this into the void, apparently. All right, well, I say YOLO. No, wait, let's eat first. We have like no health, let me eat up. All right. I'll do it now. All right, let's fight this boss. Let me eat, though. Get my uh, saturation up so that way we heal if we get hit. All right, here we go. Okay, I was like, did it not work? Oh, all righty. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's segments? Uh oh. That's not good. Every time I shot and I attacked, it just split into more pieces that came at us with a ferocity unlike any other. It said I technically killed it because I broke... I killed one of its segments, but... Man, it breaks into a lot of pieces. But I tried to stay resilient, and I kept breaking the pieces down and down until there wouldn't be any left. But just more kept coming through little warps in the sky until I really started to clear them out, and I realized that... There wasn't all that many left. And as I took out the last of the segments, everything felt still. The world felt clearer. Life felt simpler. And we were finally completed with all the bosses in the end. Is that it? I think that was it. I think that's it. I think we killed him. <laughs> that was insane, dude. Holy heck. I thought that the void boss didn't drop anything, but I realized that it was floating in the sky, and I was able to get it just by fire working over it. I want a quick little fly. Little fly over to check. The fudge? What are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are those drops from the ender thing? Void eye worm. Uh, okay. That's one drop. Oh, let's go. I got it. Void worm mandible use. Dimensional carver. Oh, sweet. I don't know what that does, but alrighty then. Where is our quest book? Let's collect what we got. An Ultramarite Totem of Undying and 100 XP. What does this thing do? Oh, oh, that's cool. It gives us resistance to a bunch of different things. Like, well, that's actually sweet. I'm gonna put that in into our thing. And it also protects us from falling in the void, it said, right? Can save from void. So we don't even need the void Totem of Undying anymore to freeze up a slot. I'll, I'll actually still use it though, just to, <laughs> just to be completely safe. Because I'm a little puss baby, but it is what it is. All right, so that's all the end bosses killed. With all the end bosses slaughtered, there were still a couple more bosses on my radar, most notably the Forge boss in the Nether. I wanted to kill the Nether monstrosity. We really just need to like kill the uh, the one in the Nether and a couple of other things. All right, whatever. I'm going home. Since I was in the overworld, I decided that I wanted to look for the blue skies guy so I could go to those new dimensions. I know I saw the blue skies guy. I just don't know where. Maybe that? I think I remember him being in the Jakarta biome, but <laughs> I don't know. This is feeling familiar though. Okay, so that's nothing. Where, where else could we go? I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna go there. I think this is another hunting lodge. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, wait. Yes, there he is. We found him. Gatekeeper. Oh, we flipping found him. Let's go. <laughs> Finally. That took so long. All right, we just need a piece of leather. Uh, Street paper. Yes. All right, let's go. Cool beans. Blue journal. Let's go. Okay. Blue journal tab in your inventory. Oh, sweet. This journey is written to assist newcomers in their whatever, whatever, uh, ever bright. The entrance to the Everbright dimension is made from turquoise stone bricks. It can be lit with a zeal lighter. It seems that Everbright is, is constantly dated with somehow always brittle and cold. Everdawn, the entry Everdawn, created with lunar stone bricks and lit with a zeal lighter. This world is always hot and humid, but the time is always at sunrise. Insects thrive here, especially during the rain. Okay. Boom. 
we got us the zealous lighter and for future reference in case i need it again i'm gonna go gate keeper this man was hard to find <laughs> he was difficult to find also on the way home i found these cute little baby elephants check this out they're so adorable why is there a baby elephant it's so freaking cute dude there's a little teeny teeny baby elephant what look what is it doing dude this thing's so cute look at this oh yeah that just happened when i got back to our village i noticed that we were being invaded by a bunch of undead pillagers or something man what are these what the f what what is this what is this corrupted pillagers why are there so many of them what i'm actually so confused what that was so peculiar. I also spent a bunch of time organizing all the stuff that we got, and I'm not gonna show you it because it was it was a lot. Also, by the way, way back when, when we were in the end, I made sure to kill all the legendaries I saw because I wanted to get a new diamond helmet and diamond boots to swap out for our chainmail ones so I could turn them into netherite and eventually into ultimarite. Plus six armor, it'll be a little less armor, but uh, we'll lose a lot of max health though. I guess I can hold off wearing these for now. I'll hold off wearing them for now. Once I upgrade them to the netherite though, they would be even stronger armor wise. So now it's three uh, armor plus 9.5 toughness, which is a lot better on the helmet. And the boots are three armor, 7.5 toughness. I'll hold off till we get some better, some better uh, pieces to put on, better reforges. I assume we'll get some relatively soon. Uh, all right, what did I need for the blue skies thing again? First, actually, I'm gonna make some more golden carrots. We need the oh, one second, actually. Is there a better golden carrot, I wonder? Oh, there are enchanted golden carrots. I mean, that's like an insane amount of saturation. I'm probably gonna regret making this many, but I'm gonna make a whole stack of them. Use all of our gold up, pretty much. Uh, I'll make some normal ones too, just in case. <laughs> just, just in case I screwed up there. All right. I then spent literally days trying to find the stone bricks that you would use to make the Everbright and Everdawn portals. <laughs> Stupidly, I should have just checked my quest book because we got them for free from completing the quest of just finding the blue skies guy. Like, once we found the gatekeeper, we were just given the blocks in the quest book. But I didn't find that out until days later. But it wasn't a total loss because while I was down there, I found this weird dungeon thing. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? Is there anything good in here? There wasn't really anything good, but we did collect all the spawners that we found in there. And we got a good bunch of emeralds too. So that was pretty good. Uh, I mean, there's emerald block. Oh, another blaze spawner that I missed. Oops. Oh my God. Dude, stop with the spawners. Stop. It's enough slices. I don't like all of the slices. Is that a... What is this? Is this an iron golem? What is this thing? The twilight forest. Stop with the spawners. It's unreasonable. Oh, loading too. I actually would love to put that on our sword because then we can get a bunch more gunpowder. Okay, well, if anything, if, if nothing else, that was really nice. All right, I'm gonna stop wasting my time now. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I was meant to do in the first place and leave this uh, stupid place. I spent a bunch more time looking around and I ended up in a lush caves where I found a bunch of axolotls. Whoa. <gasps> it's an axolotl. I don't have a, oh no, I don't have a thing for you. I'm so, I don't have a way to get you. I'm sorry. Oh man. Oh, that sucks. He's so cute. And it was looking like I was going to have to leave the axolotls behind because I didn't have any buckets or a crafting table. But then I found out that these mushroom stems can be used to make planks and turn them into a crafting table so I can finally get all the axolotls. Wait, maybe I can use this as wood. <gasps> I can. Oh, I'm going to get us an axolotl. Where you at, buddy? I'm coming. <laughs> Let's go. We have an, an axolotl. Yeah. Yes, dude, that's sick. Okay, you know what? Listen, this trip was worth it. It was worth it just for that. Is there more over here? Oh, there's more. There's more axolotls. Oh, I got to grab those too. I can't leave them. Oh, that's so cool. I'll put them in with the turtles. I have a little cool pond over there. Oh my God, there's even more here than I thought there was. Why are there so many of you? And they're all different colors. Okay, there's another axolotl. Okay, and then there's a gray one. I'll grab all of them. All right, let's get this gray one. Boom. 
Dude, that's so cool. We have a bunch of different colored axolotls. I'm gonna name them all when we get home and, and, and let them live in uh, the big pool we have made. Also, I don't know if getting the axolotls jogged my mind, but for some reason I put the pieces together that I could just, the quest book would give me the things to go to the other dimensions. Oh, you know what I just realized? I guarantee you, um, it's gonna give, yeah, I'm so stupid. I. I'm actually dumb. I'm actually dumb. I'm I'm actually dumb. I I literally am the stupidest man on this planet. I literally am dumb. Why have I not just used my brain at any point ever? All right, let's. I'm gonna put the looting on our sword right now. Actually, really quickly, before I forget. Nice. I think I also have a looting plus book if I remember. There you go. Got looting three. I'm gonna put power five on our bow also. Boom. Power 5 and infinity, now we're chilling. Also another one of our turtles hatched. Wait, did it hatch or did we break it? Oh, it hatched! Finally! Oh, sweet. Turquoise, let's get all of our things for the blue thing, the blue boy biome, and let's go to the blue boy biome. Like that? Oh, cool. And they give us two for just if we mess up. All right, let me build the other one. Boom. So our options are freezing or hot, humid, and full of bugs. I don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he bothers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Alrighty. The scary forever dawn bug infested place is where we're going first. This tool doesn't seem to work as well here. Yeah. You think? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work very well. This is awful. Will that work better? Oh, that's so crazy. That's, that's wacky, dude. Oh my god, this is awful. I need to make a new axe, I guess, too. Dave really just nerfed it so hard. Oh my god. Uh, let me check our little quiz book we got going. The Everdon. Enter the Everdon. Okay, so we got a, we got a book. Find the blinding dungeon and defeat the alchemist. The alchemist has brewed a powerful creature. You must find it. Okay, sure. Collect four dungeon keys. All right, well. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. What we got? Something cool, hopefully. Oh, here's a blinding dungeon key. All right, well that's a dungeon key. I'll still explore the rest of this though, because you never know. Maybe, maybe, maybe more keys are in the one place. Oh yeah, and so, oh, see, yeah, like that, like that. There's another blinding can, uh, dungeon key. Oh wait, no, blinding keystone. Do I just need four of these? Sure, I'll look around, see if I can't find any more. But there's another one, and now I just need one more. Ah, this will be the last one for sure. Oh yeah, it is, gotta be. Let's go. Okay, so we have all four keys, and right click on this thing up here. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Ah, well this guy might be stronger than most of the other bosses we fought. Yeah. He's definitely a little bit stronger. Oh, wow. Whoa. It seems this weapon doesn't work well, it said. Oh, we got lucky because our, our sword is a stone sword. Oh, I like that. All right, cool. Alchemy loot bag. And alchemist trophy. And we got a plushie. Oh, sick. All right, let's open the bag. Dusk arc. Grants invisibility while sneaking without smoke. And we got some other just random things too. And then next is poison dungeon. So now we just need to go find a uh, different guy. I don't know where you would find the poison dungeon though. And I spent literally hours trying to find the poison dungeon and I never found it. Turns out it spawns in maple forests. And I only learned that towards the end of looking, but I still, I had no luck finding them regardless. All right, I'm gonna take a quick Google search. Buried beneath the surface. On the surface, you'll find a large hollowed maple tree. Oh, okay. So we do need to be in the maple forest. I mean, dude, I'm really... I mean, look. <laughs> I've searched all this maple and haven't found one. Come on. All right, last firework. I don't even know if we'd be able to make it home with the five we have. Probably not. 3,000 meters that we need to make it with five fireworks. I may have made a grave, grave error. Hopefully this is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can make it with four. Easy. If I start to see blocks, I'll, uh, I'll shoot up. Oh, I saw a block. I can even scope out for the tree all the way up here. <laughs> yeah, no such luck though. All right, to the portal. Oof, perfect landing too. Let's go. For some reason, my 
recording software, decided to start using my camera's mic instead of my mic, <laughs> my mic's mic. So for the next little while, my voice is completely awful. So I'm going to have to voice it all over. Um, I'll give you a little taste of it, but uh, it's it's pretty bad. Or I keep all that snow melted. I'm going to get our axolotls in there, I think. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> So what I did is I named all of our axolotls and then I put them inside of the little pond and I, I thought it was pretty nice. I also made sure to name Larry while I was at it also. I then made a Lost Plague cure. After that, I cured our zombie villager, Dimple. Yeah, Dimple! Also, both their turtles were grown, so I named the new one Terry and then I released them both into the pond. I ran into some orcas while I was flying around at night. Whoa! Those orcas? I then went back to the nether because I was still trying to find the nether monstrosity and I couldn't find them for the life of me, but I knew I wasn't gonna give up until I found them. While I was down there though, I also made sure to hit a bunch of bastions because I wanted to get some more gold. And after a few in-game days of searching, I managed to finally find one. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I did it too. And I really wish I could show my reaction for finding it because it was intense, but because I just had my stupid camera mic instead of my actual microphone it just sounds like static and i'm really upset about it but <sighs> i guess that's what it is yeah <laughs> let's do it so we had our final fight with the big bad man of the nether this was pretty much my <laughs> most anticipated adversary one that i kind of feared fighting but uh, it, it didn't go very bad i'm gonna be honest it was it wasn't too bad i think maybe also because we're stupidly stacked out <laughs> but i don't know i didn't find it too bad <laughs> it was a fun fight I'm trying. I don't want his stuff to burn. Oh, there we go. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Finally. Nether monstrosity. He is dead. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I then found one more wither. I made sure to fight it inside of the little wither temple. And that means that now the nether is completely finished in our quest book. Yeah, that was still really easy. <laughs> That's, that still went, like, remarkably easily. So since we were done with everything in the nether, I decided to just go home. In our home world, I went around, and I wanted to spend the last couple of days just trying to find some cool fish and stuff. And I ended up finding a half-red, half-blue lobster. So I decided to grab it in a bucket and a normal red lobster, so that way it would look like I had a blue one, a red one, and a half-red, half-blue. Shut up. That's a half-blue, half-red. Where's a bucket? Scoop. I also grabbed a jellyfish that I decided to name Jelly. What I went with the names for the lobsters were, is I named the red one Rory, <laughs> and I combined the names Larry for Larry the Lobster, the blue one, and Rory to make Leroy for the red and blue one. Also, while I have you here, I'll make sure to tell you what the names of the axolotls is, because I didn't get a chance to tell you them either. I named the blue one Barry, the red one Cherry, the yellow one Gary, and the white one Frank. <laughs> yeah. No, they all follow the same name progression, and then there's just Frank. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. We have like a whole aquarium going here, dude. Like, I kind of really also made a dumb little mistake where I thought it'd be cool to try to hatch a crocodile, <laughs> thinking that it would all of a sudden be friendly because I hatched it. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it wasn't. A little while after that, I found some salmon inside of a fishing hut, and I managed to have a bottle of honey on me because I was trying, I, like I actually was looking for salmon specifically so I could go and tame a bear. So <laughs> what I was gonna do is I was gonna go tame a bear. I'm gonna go tame that bear really quick. Let's give you The fish. Oh, he does take the fish. What about the honey? Do you want the honey? I take the honey. You want the more fish? Man, you look dumb right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Big one, take a more fish. Here we go, big one. Have I got the achievement? Oh, I have. Okay, so you're tame now? <gasps> oh, shut the... Shut up, dude. No way. Now, I didn't realize that I could crouch right-click on the bear to make him follow me. So instead, I had to slowly walk it back to our house for literally an hour IRL. And I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be honest, it, it was pretty annoying because in our like in real life, bears can run nearly as fast as horses, right? But this bear, he is walking slower than I walk. <laughs> like I'm 6'2. I walk faster than this. My strides are wider than this bear, and it is a massive grizzly bear. Like, this makes no sense. And this is the moment that I realized that uh, I could have just made him follow me the whole way. How you doing, Sir Barrington? Oh my god. I'm gonna scream. If you shift click on him, he goes into follow mode and he goes so. 
I am livid. I could have literally, like, look. I hate myself so much right now. I could have walked him home. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Well, you're gonna stay now, bud. You sit right there. You're gonna enjoy your salmon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I call him Paddington or Pooh Bear? I don't know. I'll probably let you guys name him. I'll let you guys name him. So yeah, you guys heard it. Leave some comments to tell me what names you guys want for the bear and whatever one gets the most likes, I'll name him. Even if you guys want to name him Diarrhea. For all I care, if you guys want it, I'll do it. Also, before I end the video, one more last uh, little bell ring for Karen here. Sorry about the mic quality again, by the way. You Karen. I ring bell. You suck. You like bell? Eat bell. Dong 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 ding 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 dong You Karen You I know like Karen Hi bear How are you bear? I could not find fish for you I know I know I know I know you're hungry Too bad I have no fish So I also released a couple of flying fish into our little fish pond and they just keep beaching themselves so I decided they named them Darwin because of Darwinism I figured it was a perfect fit Oh Oh Both at the same time we got Darwin and Darwin, both themselves. I decided to build a glass wall to keep Darwin and Darwin from just, just beaching themselves and absolutely demolishing their lives. I fed some more salmon and honey to our bear, so that way, you know, he, I would make sure he wasn't hungry. And I managed to collect some feathers while I was out about getting fish and stuff. So I made some featherite and managed to make enough ultramarite for a full set of ultramarite armor so now we get the benefits of all of the upgraded netherite sets in one dude look at us yeah there we go yeah dude we look crazy oh i can climb walls now i forgot the armor set gives us crazy bonuses we can double jump climb walls like just to name a few things we can walk on water like the armor borderline makes us a god i then spent about you know a little bit of time just goofing around with the armor and trying to get some screenshots for the thumbnail for the video and i took so long doing that that our crocodile hatched and grew to full and he wasn't friendly <laughs> he was not friendly by any means so with the 100 days coming to an end, I wanted to spend the last day inside the Everbright biome because I wanted to try to find one of the bosses that in there and kill it. And I'll say right now, we found it and killed it in time. Oh, sweet. There's actually a, uh, a battle tower here or like one of those little dungeons. You know what? We'll fight the boss before. All right, let's do this last boss. This boss was the summoner. And honestly, probably one of the hardest ones we fought. It's very strange, but I honestly have more trouble with him than I did with the Nether Monstrosity or the Ender Golem. He, he, was, he was pretty annoying to fight, I'm gonna be honest. Bye-bye. GG. I also figured out how to put on those little arc orb things. Not that they go here. Yeah. Grants 15% movement speed increase. Oh, cool. that's awesome. And invisibility while sneaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I spent the rest of the day trying to find the second boss in this, you know, realm of existence or whatever. And I didn't end up finding him. So I just went home because it was officially day 100. On day 100, I spent some time just admiring all the lovely animals we had and trying to figure out what I was going to do for the next 100 days. And I came to the conclusion that the main thing I wanted to do was to get into the create mod, which had some really cool technology with water wheels and grindstones and just all kinds of really cool, just, I don't know, man, like just tech from like the Renaissance and stuff like that. I would love to get into the machinery. I think that's what I'll do in the next 100 days for sure. Like look at some of this crazy high tech stuff. Yeah, that's so cool. It's like this in depth. Like, I love that. Oh my God, amazing. I can see it now. My dreams of having an automated carrot farm are in the horizon. Oh, wow. That is very cool. I'm gonna have to get into this mod pack. Like this mod, there's too much cool stuff for me not to. I, I think this is what I'll want to be doing. This is, it is really cool. So that's been it. This was the whole journey. I hope you enjoyed. You know, I, I tried my best to make the video good. And by the way, I'm really sorry about not making another 100 days on the other butter Minecraft world because the world got corrupted. I hope this made up for it. <laughs> if you guys want to see more, let me know. I'm setting a like goal of only 2000 on this video because I would love to make another 100 days on this mod pack. If you guys want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Shrew. I hope you enjoyed and have a good night.